five minutes late, I think. Welcome to Beauty With Me. I'm Brenda. Uh, feel free to join in the conversation. We always have great, wonderful women, men in the live chat all the time. Ask anything you want. We always have some fun here. Uh, tonight, I'm going to show you a haul from HSN, which was all Too Faced stuff. Uh, some mob beauty that I picked up also from HSN. And then I'm also going to show you a comparison between the Lancome and the Estee Lauder train cases. You know how it's like, oh, spend $45 at in either one. And then you get the big train case with like skincare and makeup. And we'll compare the two because I already have bought the Lancome. Now I have the Estee Lauder. So I'll show you those just in case anybody's curious about picking them up. Uh, I got some empty. I don't know. We're just, we just roll with it here. We're going to roll. Oh, wait, well, my ladies are popping in. <laughs> Bam, Darba, Laura. A fucking costume. You're looking at it. <laughs> An old hag. <laughs> An old witch. I'm looking at it. Come on. I'm just like out of it. I got, I didn't, you ladies know, I didn't have my massage the past couple weeks. I've been out of it all day. I'm just like a fucking mess. Just an absolute mess. But I'm like, fuck it, I'm going on. <laughs> I'm like, maybe my girls, you guys always cheer me up and we'll have some fun. Uh, let me separate some of this crap out here. This is a funny one. If you go on Macy's and punch in Lancome Star Bronzer. I mean, maybe I can pull up on that tablet thing. <laughs> It's just by the color online. I was just like, uh, it kind of looks orange, but you know, a little dark. Maybe, who knows? But like, maybe it'll work. Maybe it won't. I'm going to try to pull it up on the tablet thingy here. Just so you can see the color comparison. I, was, I opened it up. I was like, what the hell did I buy? Luckily, I caught it. It was like $19 and a Lancome bronzer can be what, like close to 40 bucks. Like, oh my god. Oh, we have our coffee mug of the night. <laughs> and just coffee. No rum chata. Me and mom are going to be doing a New Hampshire run here in a week or two. Come on, open your stupid thing. Why is it not opening? My look has battery dead. Come on. Can't fucking win. There we go. I'm telling you, it's just one of those days for me. <laughs> Tablet is starting. Okay. Ugh. I do. I just. I'm beat up. <laughs> I'm fucking beat up. All right. Over here, Google or some shit. Yeah. Since when is this thing slow? Come on, Jesus Christ, nothing works. Oh my God. What is this thing doing? Macy's, yes. Yeah. Holy shit. <laughs> Macy's. Oh yeah, it's got a hundred damn things. How's everybody else's week going? Hi, Linda. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Laura, if it wasn't for you, I'd never remember to change this. Uh, live chat, all messages. <laughs> Hello, Miss Teresa. Nix is here tonight. Yay. Haven't seen you in a while, girly. All right, wait a minute. Long poem. Come on, type. Bronzer. It's gotta be working here. Oh my god. Yeah, it's coming. Okay. That's actually on sale right now too. <laughs> This is the picture for Macy's. <laughs> okay. And I'm seriously like, it's not going to be like 
that orange. <laughs> Let me just tap on the product itself so just that'll pop up. Let me make sure I have the right shade here. Oh no, I don't. Shit. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I got the wrong one. Damn it. I have zero two sun kiss. Oh, shit. <laughs> that even then, that's probably what the picture looked like. It had to have. Mars clinic, no. I mean, at that point, I don't even know if I knew what... Yeah, that's the only one they're showing. Is the orangey one there. <laughs> this is going to be a bitch. So, that you see in the picture, and this is what it looks like in real life. <laughs> Not even close. Not even close. So that was a good laugh. So, yeah, now I have a really light bronzer to play with. <laughs> Oh, I left that the whole box upstairs. See? Just, I'm out of it. I bought that triple barrel hair crimpy thingy-majiggy. It didn't work tonight. <laughs> it all fell out. But I kind of played with it. The other, but I washed my hair last night, so I'm not sure if that's why. And, of course, me with heat protectant and everything. When I tried it the other day, I had a little more. Like, my hair looked huge. But, yeah, it, it worked, I guess. <laughs> All right, HSN. The only reason I bought all this crap is because it was through the HSN app. So these prices were ridiculous. They were like thirty something dollars, twenty nine dollars. You know how HSN QVC? It's like, oh well, here's the palette, here's the mascara. Let me see if I can find the actual receipt here. <laughs> Oops. Bought some Mob Beauty too. Let's find the other sheet. Okay, that's all for Mob Beauty. Maybe it's in the bottom of this box. But I want to say for around 100 bucks, give or take a little bit. I got, hey, Caitlin. Oh, Rakuten, Macy's, 10%. Ulta's, 8 Very nice. Thank you, Laura. Miss Marsha. I'll make sure I check. To, that one my, Caitlin, you're a crazy girl. Caitlin's already placed four. Hey, I actually placed mine in the morning. The next morning that morning but you know and my shit already shipped which i was shocked it says i'm getting it tuesday terry happy saturday everyone yeah sorry no halloween costume but maybe i'll come out tomorrow and we'll fuck around i, I just wasn't up for it tonight so this is the only reason i bought all this two-faced shit plus it does photograph fabulously <laughs> so bonus all right so i did end up buying the cinnamon swirl and then that came with the melted lipstick to match in cinnamon bun. One of the melted matte. I got a quick picture outside today, but what the hell one did I say that was? The cinnamon. All right. The cinnamon to this one. God damn it. With the little cinnamon swirl things. Hold on. Here's the lippy. All right. So this one came with a lippy, which I'm just going to put on the bottom lip and I'm going to try to wipe it right the hell off because it's one that, yeah, not for me. And it's in cinnamon bun. Oh, it smells like cinnamon bun. Oh, it does. It does smell like cinnamon. Okay. You know, I have naturally pigmented lips here. We're going to watch them go away real quick. Yeah. No. Uh-uh. <laughs> Once I have the whole thing on, it, I might as well have had a most, like, you know, concealer on at that point. There it is on both. <laughs> Horrible. <laughs> Not my shade. There it is on the tissue. If you see the actual shade. Kind of has a cinnamon taste to it, too. <laughs> but I definitely don't like that color. <laughs> don't like that color. All right. Then I got this... It's falling out of the damn box on me. Sweet peach. Yeah. Fucking 
boxes are just going to start falling. Here's the peach one. And with the peach palette. I don't think you got anything with the peach palette. If I'm right. But you had to buy this shit through the app. So if you, because I even, of course, was on the app. And then I jumped on my computer and pulled up just HSN and went to Too Faced. And the prices were totally fucking different. So it was one of those, like, it knew when you were on the app. I did get the Better Than Chocolate. Teresa's going to be impressed. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure, yeah, with this came full-sized Better Than Sex Mascara. So right there was a good deal. And this does kind of smell like chocolate. This is one of the prettier palettes. But again, they have their pop of purple, pop of green, <laughs> pop of blue. <laughs> oh, wait a minute, I got the prices done. Okay, the sheet's in the bottom. All right, and then with this one is the Born This Way Sunset Stripped. This came with a dual-sided brush. And Too Faced actually does make decent brushes, too. They're another one that nice. So this is one of the, you know, flat palettes. It's not that tin. But it does have the weight to it and everything. But very pretty palette. Right, wait a minute. And then, oh God. And the boxes, you know, match all this shit. So. You can see if it actually says which one to which on here. All right. Uh, the Better Than Chocolate is normally, it says $60, well, $59. I got that for $37. Actually, more like $34. i am going to take out the tax because there's like $2.25 in tax. So, say $35. Bucks. The Sweet Peach Palette was normally $49. Got that for a little less than 30. The cinnamon swirl was 54. And I got that one for 32. And then the sunset strip with the brush is normally 52. And 33. Paid about 31 for that. But then I also did the six flex pays, because liking why not, right? So the flex pays literally came out to like five dollars, four dollars, five dollars, five dollars. So it's always fun to use that to break those into the payments because why the hell not? Yeah, so I got me a nice little uh two faced haul. <laughs> it's like having four palettes, four of the same palettes, but I'm like, I like it, you know, better than sex mascara. I do like their brushes. What the hell? This is what it is. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy okay thank you laura boxy choice is on the first and ipsy plus choice is on the second oh god so that's like monday and tuesday i think all wants to know is it just him or does the sephora sell suck i mean i don't know i got i, I don't well even if mom she don't, hey she's watching she's watching i bought her that big ass perfume perfume sampler that's like 70 something dollars then she can pick you know the full size perfume <coughs> excuse me well i buy the huda palette the uh, enamored what the hell it is. like i said those lys um blushes that little blush set i grab that oh now it was funny i had the house labs foundation in the cart and i was just like you just spent you know, $50 between basically the Estee Lauder or $100 between the Estee Lauder and the Lancome to get those two damn boxes. So why spend another $50 on a foundation? So when I pulled that out, of course, I'm like, well, I'm going to put something else back in. So they had some um, of the Kaali sets. I didn't need any of the sets, but the only, I wanted to try the little, so it looks like a miniature bottle, bottle of the Apple one. Because I was like, I still don't want to pay full price. And even at that, I didn't really need a perfume. <laughs> I'm going to show you some dossiers I got into. But I was like, I got to try the apple first. Because sometimes, it's, you know, I'm not going to go through it anyway. What else did I buy? I didn't buy much. 
I'd spent, I I'd probably spent like 200 bucks, a little over 200, give or take. And it was just enough to put me over, so I'm like, good for the year. You know, with the point stamp thing. Okay, everybody say it's horrible. <laughs> yeah, definitely not a lip shade for me. No, no, no. And see, Laura, that's why it's hard. You guys know, um, I have these pigmented lips. They're, you know, they can be pretty pink. And then even remember that Anastasia Beverly, <laughs> it looked like fucking concealer because it almost like matched my skin tone. I'm like, oh, speaking of, I should put something on them. A little tart. A little red one. I may put makeup on. We never know. I don't fucking know. Like those little tart sets of these, those were a good deal because it's like, what, 40 bucks for four of them? It's like 10 bucks a piece. That's not bad. Considering they run about 20 something a piece, I'm pretty sure. Uh, where did I put that mob beauty stuff I had? Because <laughs> I have the blush. What the hell did I do with that? Because I wanted to put the blush in the little palette. <laughs> Makeup junkie problem going on right now. It's a... Oh, okay, wait a minute. I found it. I found it. I found it. Okay, Mob Beauty is the one with like the sustainable, recyclable packaging, all that. Made by real, actual makeup artists. So I already had bought another set from HSN. So this is the little blush that it came with. And you could fit two eyeshadows in here too. So these are like customizable. You just take the little back part, make sure it pops to the back. So I already have the blush. And you know me, I just randomly all of a sudden go off the walls at night and go, I'm going to buy some shit. <laughs> I was having a problem getting this palette to close, but I think I was putting this stuff in the I think I'm putting the highlighter in wrong or something. I can get the package to open back up. Come on. There we go. All right. So I bought the bigger one because then I figured I'll put the blush here. I didn't realize I still have a spot for another eye. <laughs> so I did buy the highlighter. Oh, oh. oh shit. Get them all falling out. <laughs> Let me get the highlighter out of here. The highlighter is M51. A lot of their stuff just goes by like numbers. That's a good shade. It's got like a peachy, pinky gold to it. I like that. Pretty. Then I bought some single shadows. And again, looking on, I just stabbed the hell out of this. Looking online, you know how the, as we just saw with the pictures. Uh, M5. It's just a light. I figure, okay, you know, you need sometimes a good brown for the crease or something. So that's right there. I think I'm going to go on Mob Beauty itself and do an order from there. Because I did have a hard time. Oh, see, I bought a cream eyeshadow. I didn't even realize it until just now. M82. So this is a pink cream eyeshadow. Oh, feels nice. Holy shit, that's a pigmented little sucker. Oh, damn, that's really pigmented. Okay. <laughs> it's light, but it's pigmented. Wow. Here's a little more powder. <laughs> then I bought M1. Oh, okay. This one's got a light, too. It. I think this looked, well, maybe it was a little mauvier online. Yeah, I wish it was a little darker. A little too light for me. That one's right there. All right, so let me get the... So I did buy this, too, from when I was on... Let me get the shadows back out of the way. And I bought a lippy and a case. All their stuff comes in totally recyclable packaging and all this. So the lip color... And I had to buy another lippy because I already have one. Here's that one. 
I know it's right here in front of me. Oh, bitch. Mm, let me put you. Okay, I have one here. <laughs> so now this time I bought another case and I picked up M12. I think it's just a lipstick, right? Lipstick, yeah, it says lipstick refill. Okay. Okay, so the first one I had is M58, which I've worn this a couple times. Even on. So there's M58. And I, when they could change these out. <laughs> you feel me? You can change it up. I'm going to put the lipstick back in the bag. This one's a little more pinky red, and this is M12. Fuck it. There's a pigmented little son of a bitch. <laughs> it feels more like a bomb, like a lip bomb, but it is pigmented as hell. So I'm glad I grabbed that. Yeah, anyway, just I just wanted to show you how like the little eyeshadows. You know, so I have the little number, but you can see it. You know, totally recyclable cardboard and everything, which was very cool. I like that with them. So that was the little mob beauty haul. I'm trying to leave anything in here. But now I definitely need to pick up another eyeshadow. <laughs> what do I do with the blush? I am just a fucking mess tonight. That is hot mess bitch tonight. There's my costume. Come on, pop out. There we go. Trying to get the blush up here. Where'd that cream eyeshadow go? Put that one next to it. I kind of guess I got to line up the things, huh? Where's it? Oh, there's the other eyeshadow. One there. Why are you not going in? Oh, God. <laughs> I must have it backwards or something. I'm sure there's a trick to this, and I haven't caught on to the trick yet. Ah, okay. You got one side that's a little wider. And then this side, the pan almost goes right against it. Does that make sense? Aha. That is the trick. And you close it up. And there's my personalized custom Mod Beauty palette. Pretty cool. Yeah, so now if I know, I, I'll probably... You know, since I have another cream, I might as well just buy one more cream shade, put it over here. But you know me, I love supporting smaller brands and things like that. I don't need that. Nah. What am I? I'm missing out on stuff. I'm missing out on all the good gossip. <laughs> I need a cigarette. Uh, I know, I definitely don't want to hide my lips, that's for sure. Teresa, her first order was Gwen Stefani and Tarte. Nice. Oh, definitely, Terry. Good point. Um, the Sephora brand itself, their products are 30% off. And like I said, they make good shit. Even their eyeliners and all that, they're, you know, not necessarily totally waterproof on the waterline, but they're very nice. Oh, Teresa, I knew you'd be all excited. I got that better than chocolate. But for those prices... I was like, why the fuck not? You know, seriously. But I see that, and then I'm like, hey, free brush, free mascara. Oh, why the hell not? Because Gina's like laughing at me going, you're not even that big of a Two-Faced fan. I go, yeah, but the shit photographs well. <laughs> and the pictures do get a lot of likes with it. And I go, but you know me, I'm also, it's hard. Because I'm partially a collector, but you know, you know how it is.
Teresa, I have the c cinnamon in Sunset and you don't? Oh, Lord. I didn't even check this against like the other one because I have the first one. And the first one was really nice. And this one, I haven't even really looked at these fucking things. This is actually really nice too. Like these are all kind of mauvey pinks over here. This is actually like a little pinky. I bet it's like a topper. But this one looks decent. Oh, okay, Teresa, thank you. Uh, yeah, I get Glam Bag X. That's on the second. All right, shit. Laura, after this boxy shell, she's going to cancel boxy. I think, can we pause them? Even pause it. Yeah, with the wrong items in the order and then the monthly boxes are more expensive and they sent me another email right before the box came with the hair curlery thing and all this and it goes like i swear it said it was missing fucking products or something i'm like i don't know what the fuck is missing i, I don't know what the hell that email was but there wasn't any like here's six dollars either so i don't know what the fuck that email was hi honey what are you doing What do you, Teresa, what do you mean they punished you for a bad review? I, I leave, that's the only time I leave reviews on Boxy is when they're fucking bad. I think I've done some of the past. Ipsy, I always do my reviews on there. And even those are just like, I don't post them on Facebook or anything. But uh, all on Boxy, oh, that's always me bashing the shit. Like the primer, I was really like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> oh, you got your toy? Toys. Toys. Greg got toys too. Toys. So I got toys, and Greg's got ski thingy, majiggies. Toys. Is that what it is? Toys. It should be skis, yeah. I don't want to have you. Oh, the tub is right there. He forgot I slid his package into my garage. I forget. I didn't wait. <laughs> yeah. Because even up thinking, like, okay, I maybe on, like, boxy, I'll drop down to the cheapest. <laughs> And either fuck the other two or just keep the. I'm like I don't know. I've been at, I've been with those fucking two for so long, literally a decade apiece. That I'm just like I don't know what to do. Hi, mama. Yeah, mama. They, they, they the girls. Well, most of you know, mom. <laughs> poor thing. Ended up with kidney stones again, like two weeks ago. And then we're pretty sure she caught COVID, possibly at the fucking hospital. So then she had COVID for about five days. But now she's going off, skipping off to the Cape with her girls and going to have some fun. And she needs some R&R &R after laying around <laughs> recuperating for days. They punished me by sending horrible boxes like leftover. I've never had that problem, Teresa. Because how would they single you out? I'm sure these fucking things come down a conveyor belt and it's either some machines dropping this shit into these boxes or if it's actual fucking human, they ain't taking time to read anything. Mom, just in case you're still here, everybody's saying to you, they're glad you're better. I think I had that happen once, Marsha, with Boxy when they sent out something and it I think I had some broken ones. And I had never returned anything at that point, and it was a stupid palette. I think it was like Laura Lee palette or something. <clears throat> and then I remember I read all the terms and conditions, and it was really like, if you're a ball buster, or they'll only let you like return one item a year. And it's like, well, what the fuck is that? I had smashed the shit. You didn't ship it right. You know, when they can't put fucking plastic around stuff. Oh, nice big white ski. And he's just over here playing with his ski. The thing that goes on the end of a fucking snowmobile. Eh. What? Oh. This thing. <laughs> I don't know this. It, it. Oh, yeah. Uh, I took the shoulder out. See, they, that's like us. <sighs> Boys and their toys. 
So actually now I have a leftover little one. And I could buy, like I said, two eyeshadows can fit in this or a blush or a highlighter. And they have bronzers too, I think. Maybe I'll get a bronzer. That thing flipped like five times. Of course I gotta drop something, because what would it be if I didn't drop something? Damn, this fucker went right into the desk. Ugh! Oh my god. I'm bored because I'm fucking hurting from my massage. <laughs> Oh, fuck. At least we have fun here. Yeah, I do like that about Ipsy. I'll agree with you, Laura, that we can pick certain items. Boxy lets us pick, though, too, don't they? Didn't I pick something just the other? Because I picked all palettes for the last one. Let me wipe these off of me. <laughs> At least the lipsticks, just so I don't get lipstick all over me. I like that fucking highlighter though. I didn't do too bad. Is it the, the cream seems to go to maybe a like a powder mat. It it I wouldn't say it's totally dried, but it's such a light shade it's hard to tell. All right. Oh, let me show you the dossier real quick since that's right at my feet. <laughs> I left the other 20 fucking bottles upstairs. Where I'll do a whole video next week. But I just wanted to show you the ones they sent in. Thank you, Dossie. They were very nice and sent me, let me pick three fragrances. We'll do a collection thing like next week or something. So I've been playing with these for... Mm, coming up on two weeks, give or take. So the first one I picked was Musky... Is that, is it Gaic? So again, I have, I put little stickers on the side that show what it actually is for, what the original, but they do give you a card also. Um, this is inspired by Le Labo Gaic 10. Now I was trying to just look these up on I keep it Sephora internet where I'm just regular Google in it. And this Le Labo Gaic 10, I, I I swear this said it was only seemed to be available in Japan for some reason. And the prices were literally 200 plus. So it was like, oh, okay. And this one has top notes of Alabanum incense. I have no idea what that is. Gaic wood cedar wood and the base notes are musks so it's definitely more on the musky side this could be a men's too which is possible because i'll wear men's women's i don't give a shit but and it has a, a concentration of 20 percent so right there and every one of these will come with the card so i'll even spray the card when i first get it because they, they come packaged really nice too come on Figures I have the one without the insert. There's just an insert in here. And then the bottle sits inside the ins insert. I took it out because I was probably trying to photograph them. I didn't need the insert in the way. All right. So then I, the other one, no, they, they range from 29, 39, 49. I think they have some 59 ones too. But still, even if this was like 39 or 49, whichever one it is, Beats two hundred dollars plus. Because <laughs> hey, this one seemed really hard to find, so I was like, "Well, oh, okay." Then I grabbed Woody Tobacco, and this is the Replica Jazz Club. Now this is a one point seven ounce bottle, you know, standard size, and the one online was only one ounce, so that was seventy six dollars for the one ounce. And then I want to say it went up to like three point four. So you do get, you know, a little more in here. And the woody tobacco is top notes, lemon, pink pepper, and neroli. And then we have middle notes of rum, dry fruits, and blonde woods. And then the base notes are styrax. No idea what that is. Tobacco leaves and vanilla. 
Again, like I said, I spray the cards and then I'll put the stuff back in the box. And it does. It smells nice. It's, I can't describe perfumes worth of shit, so. All right. Then we have Woody Peony. This one here. And this one is inspired by, I'm going to destroy this name, X Nahilo. Not sure. I'll put the card up in a second. Fleur Narcotic. Or Nakatique <laughs> Eau de Parfum, 18% uh, concentration. Uh, this one runs $225. And I'm pretty sure that was like for the 1.7 ounce. Uh, this is fruity, which I like. Uh, peach, top notes peach, leche, bergamot, freesia, middle notes jasmine, orange blossom, peony, white flowers, base notes musk oak moss and woods so i've been digging this one a lot but this is i think it's some french one but i'm like right here i'm like that's narcotic so it's like f floor is what floral or something like that i don't know i sometimes know french sometimes i don't i don't know I'm bizarre with that but yeah so yeah 225 and this is like i said it's probably maybe a 39 dollar one <laughs> Thank you, Dossier. Totally appreciate it. But I'll show you the whole collection next week. Because then I've had more than enough time to keep playing with these for the rest of the week. Have I used one more than the other? I don't think so. No, I try to check change it every day. <laughs> but yeah, I there's I technically upstairs I have 21 bottles. So and I have two, and I have two candles too. <laughs> These in the box. Go we'll back upstairs. Let me get the other oh, disasters. Oh. Look, I've kept all this shit in these boxes, so I got Lancome palette though. The, the Lancome palette. We, we already did the Lancome like over a week ago. This one. For the $75, yes, these are worth it. In my opinion, just for the skincare. The skincare alone is worth, you know, one bottle. And it's all full size. It could be a hundred and something dollars. So one of the, you know, that more than covers the box. So now Estee Lauder is for my mom for Christmas. She loves Estee Lauder. So... As soon as this hit, I grabbed it. But sometimes these things sell it fast. Now the Estee one you pay $79 for. So Estee says $79 with a $570 value. And the Lancome is $75 with a $542 value. And luckily, mom won't mind that I open her Christmas present. <laughs> so, again, this is this cheap ass slippery <laughs> material. They normally used to be like faux leather or leather, and this is the tacky ass land. <laughs> this is just a slippery, it, it's tacky. Like I said, once it snows, I'm gonna try to s sled down my fucking driveway with it because it's that tacky. This is a little better, but not the quality I'm used to. So it opens up like this. And then all the stuff is just in this box, all wrapped up with 10 tons of um, tissue paper. All right. I'm pretty sure you can see me here. So with this one, you're getting the Revitalizing Supreme Plus Youth Power Cream. Now this is full size, without a doubt. Let me see which size on the back here. Yeah, one ounce, 30 mils. So there's some skincare. Then you get the Advanced Night Repair Eye Cream. This shit's expensive, you know, on the just on a normal. 
Uh, you get 15 mils of product in there, glass packaging, eye makeup remover, which I'll keep. <laughs> Uh, advanced night repair the full-size bottle the one ounce so again right here this skincare is probably over two hundred dollars close to three just for the skincare you ever bought estee skincare or lancome it's expensive i uh, gave you a little mini of the advanced night repair and a little mini eye one these will be perfect when she goes on her little trips away and then so actually you get three full size and three minis of the, all of these products. So that's good for mom because then she will. She'll put ones in her luggage or the mini ones. Then they always give you makeup, but just go. Uh, the Sumptuous Extreme Volumizing Mascara. Uh, Double Wear Onyx Black Eyeliner. Estee Lauder does make nice lippies usually. Uh, Pure Color Envy 540 Immortal. I gotta give it to them on the fucking lipsticks this year. Check this shit out. We literally got snowflakes embossed in this some bitch. But even on right on the tip, that's badass. I don't think the lamp comes on like that. Okay, so that one has this red on it. This one's just plain. Well, it does have a little snow. Eh, I can see them. It does have little snowflakes on it. <laughs> Sorry, Mom. I'm definitely keeping this one. <laughs> this is a nude that I can actually wear. But again, I got to get pictures of these because that's just cool to photograph. I like photographing shit like that. Uh, bright red. Pure Color Envy 107 Tender Trap Gloss, I'm guessing, yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice gloss. Mama. Oh, it smells good, too. It smells like cake. And then their eyeshadow palette, which we'll compare this to the Lancome, because the Lancome was horrible. And cute little... Highly reflective palette as usual. Let's see. Sorry, Mom, that, but she, she knows I'm already getting her this. <laughs> Not like she's going to be shocked or anything. Just for those of you who haven't seen the inside of the long home. Eh, okay, okay, most of it's still in here. <laughs> Comes with all this. So again, mom will take all the skincare. I'll probably give her the little perfume because I think I have that one. All this, you know, makeup remover, lippy, all that, and then... The Lancome palette is just garbage. <laughs> Which I'll show you in a second. Let me get these two out of my way. Oh, I forgot about my coffee. Yes, they looks better than the <laughs> I'm gonna open it faster. All right. Th this was just <laughs> beige. But with the Lancome, you do get on the bottom. Uh, bronzer, highlighter, two blushes. Which, those weren't bad. It was the eyeshadows that were horrifying. Just like all beige. <laughs> uh, here we have like two mattes, maybe. The rest look like either satin, possibly some shimmer. And I always say the two mattes are literally the black and this cream shade, which 
would be a perfect problem. What am I missing on here? Oh, okay, Boxy lets me pick 105. Ipsy Plus lets me pick 305. Okay, I got it. I think I'd pay attention to these things after so many years. Oh, okay, Laura. And the regular Boxy Base box is the same price as Ipsy Plus. Okay. <laughs> March is getting out Ulta. March is wondering, has anyone gotten the dossier Creed Adventus dupe? I don't think I have that one, but <clears throat> I can add it to the list. <laughs> if it, anything I have tried, don't forget, Marsha. Um, I do have some of the actual fragrances that I've bought from dossier. <laughs> Just because me and Gina wanted to see, like, are they actually... You know, is it the same scent? And they are. So if, if they have it and you really want it, I wouldn't hesitate. Oh, Marsha canceled Boxy too. Tons of people trying to get rid of their stuff on Mercari. <laughs> yeah, but then you don't know if the people have touched it. I mean, thank God I have sanitizer and all that, but damn. Pyramid Beauty uses to see the Estee Lauder. I love samples. I go through samples all the time. Thank you, Lori. Just made my damn night. <laughs> she said, my skin is so pretty and healthy. You look like you're in your early 30s. I wish. As y'all know, I'm 52. I feel like I'm 102 right now. Mom's been using the Advanced Night Repair for years. She loves it. And I'm sure I've thrown it in here and there with my stuff, but... It's like anything, you know, people just get used to. And that's where even, like, I would buy the Lancome. And then I'd probably use that along with the makeup because I wanted the bag. And like I said, the other bags used to be a lot nicer. They were, like, faux leather. And they were just, what do you think? Well, especially from the age I am. <clears throat> if I was in my 20s, Estee Lauder and all that. Not that I would call it, like, grandma makeup. But i go, that's older people makeup. Especially in your 20s. In my 50s, I'm like... Yeah, so now if I'm paying these high fucking prices, I want some quality. <laughs> but I've never had an issue with any of their skincare. But y'all know I just put everything on my fucking face. Oh, Pyramid, I don't know if I said hi to you, darling. Hi. <laughs> oh, got the... Laura jumps right on those. Got those bots starting already. I swear they just see, see fucking live streaming. They're probably set up for that, like to troll for live stream accounts. All right, let's watch this little sucker, see what we got here. These pans are tiny, but it's getting there. And it's not like I expect Estee Lauder to have like color payoff like our indie brands. Of, you know what I mean? Pressed pigments, anything like that. Oh, it's going to be on the softer side because they're back in the day. Like I said, you would think like older people, they're not going to use all the crazy blues and greens and, you know, like I do. <laughs> Age is just a number. I'm going to put that over the blush thing. Okay. Well, they're swatching better than the Lancome did. And I say, sometimes I say Lancome and sometimes I say Lancome. <laughs> Give a fuck. Say it both ways. No, I got it. No, brown's pretty. Well, so far this is a way better palette than the Estee Lauder, than the Laura. Lancome. Lancome. even on Lancome this Edel is how do I say it? It's not a dupe. The Maybelline Sky High and this have the same fucking formula. Feel free to go look it up. I'm talking the first, I don't even know how many ingredients are exact. The end ones might be a little different but L'Oreal owns Lancome. So Edel and Sky High, which I don't think I have one open, that's so why I'm not seeing it, are the same fucking thing. That's how these companies 
you know, this is say 20 something dollars and the Maybelline's what, 10, 12, 13. <laughs> They've been pulling that shit for years, but none of us would ever know it because we didn't have, you know, say internet years ago to be able to go, hey, I could pay, I could buy two for the price of one. <laughs> now we can all look that shit up and we all can figure it out quickly. Oh, I forgot the, I hope this cranberry shade, oh, that's actually very pretty, this cranberry shade. <laughs> this is, a, if, if, if you're just looking for an eyeshadow <laughs> In maybe not the skincare. I would definitely go with this. <laughs> Over this. I mean, obviously the, the size wise is this is tiny. Uh seven point two grams overall and 22.7 grams overall. Okay, so you are getting a hell of a difference, but these here, it's like one, two, three. These four shades alone are all just like fucking white, beige, it, like the exact same fucking color. They barely even show up on my fucking skin tone. The undertone may be a tiny bit different. This is a little peachier. <laughs> This has a, maybe a little more pink, but I don't need that much light shades in one palette. It was just ridiculous. But I think we did like what the, the bottom wasn't so bad. I think the highlighter was really pretty, wasn't it? Yeah. And I think the blushes were halfway decent. Highlighter, blush, blush. But they're still kind of lacking, but I do like that highlighter. But yeah, so, which is weird. You get the smaller palette for the more expensive box and the bigger palette. I mean, even here, size wise. What the hell do I have with this size? Um. It's a little long, like the Sigma little berry glow palette here. So this is much thinner. But it doesn't have the dual, you know, pull-out thing either. I left the my makeup remover. Yeah. Yeah. Now, does anybody have kids who are ended up? Ha are you gonna have to go trick or treating on one of them Monday? There you go, Pyramid. See, her mom uses that stay in Lancome and gives her the free gifts. And I just buy it for mom for Christmas. Oh, Teresa. Teresa had not had wine all week. She, she you got your both your shots right. You said wiped you out. Somebody else had them too, got wiped out. I had them both and I didn't have anything happen as usual. Teresa needs her wine time though. Oh shit girl, you got lit up with all three. Flu, shingles, and COVID. Holy fuck. At least shingles is a one-time deal. Well, it's two shots. <laughs> I remember that because I got that when I immediately when I turned 50. Because my mom had shingles when I was probably 48. Because figure out she had shingles, I ran to the fucking pharmacy and was like, give me the shingle shot. Brenda, you gotta be 50. I'm like, who fucking says? I, I give me the shot. Brenda, you wanna pay $500 for it? No. Come back when you're 50. <laughs> oh, fuck, okay. That one kind of hurt like a bitch, the shingle shot. But like I said, anytime you're getting anything shoved into your arms, any kind of shot, it's gonna be fucking sore. Yay, Teresa's feeling better today. Yeah, three shots, that's a lot for your body to take on at once. <laughs> Laura thinks she went overboard with her green eyeshadow look yesterday, walked out the door, and her upstairs neighbor said, Love your makeup! She was like 20 feet away. 
That's a hell of a compliment. It's like, yeah, I got you can see me 20 feet away. Hell yeah. Yeah, you check on that lore with the doctor first, definitely. Because I know from having chicken pox as a kid, that's why I have that hole in my forehead. This thing right here. That's why I wore bangs for years. Because everybody has something about them that, you know, they don't like. No matter what it is on you. <laughs> and mine was, to me, it's almost dead center in the middle of my forehead. I mean, if it was just really right here, it'd be dead center. But it's just off-centered enough. Uh, to me, it looks like I have like, uh, to me, it looks like this. And that's why for year, I had years, I rocked bangs just to cover that fucking hole. Because I was like, to me, it's like a bullseye. <laughs> exactly, Perry. We always pay for those fancy names. Uh, years ago, a Lancome rep told Marsha that Lancome in France is actually a good drugstore brand. It probably is in France. <laughs> oh, Teresa, we're sorry. After being in bed for three days and then have, a, you know, a loved one pass away, that's not a good thing. We're sending you loving kisses. Hello, Patty. Y'all gotta watch Patty's videos. I want that damn wheel. I want to spin the wheel. A few years ago, she got a pneumonia shot, and the guy at Walgreens jammed it into her arm. And it hurt for several months. Now I let the women do my shots all. Oh, Patty's sister is taking the younger spot. <laughs> Trick or treating. Oh, get better, Patty. Exactly, Terry. Or when they do any of those deals on the mascaras, Terry buys the expensive mascaras when they're half price. And some other one does it too, like Nordstrom or something. Don't they do one where it's like every kind of mascara, like all the high end shit's like half off? But that's where, because I, I remember, <laughs> I know I looked this up. Because I think Tara mentioned it. Tara Baby Z there. Um, she was like, God, I really like this. And it seems like it's the, like, it seems like it's almost like the Maybelline formula. And I laughed. So I was like, oh, shit. Well, they are one by, you know, L'Oreal. And I, I laughed because I just screenshotted both ingredients. And I stuck them in side by side to look at them. was like, yep, same mascara, different tubes and different prices. Laura loves all colorful eyeshadow, but bright purple is her favorite. Mine too. Oh, you're welcome, Teresa. Oh. oh. Shit kicked out of me. I'm kind of bummed that hair thing didn't work too well. Because <laughs> yesterday the hair was huge. <laughs> or the other day when I did it. As soon as it came. But I had dirty hair at the time too. Maybe that was why it worked better. Because I did put, like, heat protectant on it and all that. and But it's weird with that three thing. Because I'm trying to figure out, like, how the hell do I do this on my head? So I've just been, like, sectioning, sectioning it off. Almost like how I color it. And I'm taking that. Because even then trying to get it next to your scalp. I'm like, oh, my God. I'm still not sure what temperature to put it on. Today I had it on, like, 330. And that's why I'm shocked of the other day. I only had it on 270. And it was seemed more, but and doing the whole back of your head, that was it's a nightmare. I'm like, my arms are about to fall off. And after getting a massage yesterday, I think that's why I just didn't put any effort into it. Cause I'm like, my arms are tired. <laughs> I got the shit beat out of me with my deep tissue massage. Yeah, the, did you get the I I had of course you know me, Patty. I jumped on Amazon to go, I what's a spinny wheel? Well, they were about 40 bucks or more, give or take. And I was like, I bet I can make something like that. Because <laughs> I would need one with, it had like 14 slots. I'm like, I need like 140 slots. <laughs> that would be fun. Oh, thank you, Pyramid. No, the color, it's actually pulling out. I'm due to, you can see my roots. They're getting there again. Even I can... I can see that it's lighter here. 
Don't forget, this is just still over, you know, growing in hair. I haven't bleached this shit in over a year still. And now I definitely won't bleach it until April. March or April, somewhere in there. Because now I know, all, like I said, down to the purple is like the last of last year's. So if I cut this purple off, all the blue is all new hair. That's why I was laughing. Like when I put the curling iron, my hair is like, what is this? You have not used, which I haven't used, a fucking curling iron for probably 25 years. <laughs> going, and it's just so big and bulky and heavy going, how the hell am I clamping this thing? And then it's like backwards and I'm upside down. <laughs> like this thing's crazy. Oh, her hubby's office closed and we cleaned house. They found the wheel and made it mine. There you go, girl. <laughs> That's a good idea. Yeah, they were definitely like 40 bucks or something, but I'm like, I could make something like that or find something even cheaper, but I would need a hell of, or I'd have to modify it somehow because I would need a lot more slots, you know me, with all oh, this shit. I don't even know how I would do that. Like I said, I even print it off. But we might try this one night. This will be interesting. But I might even have to print these bigger. I printed out the bingo cards that Teresa and the girls use. There's actually like five different ones, which I thought it was always the same bingo card, but here I'm they're all green, but the stuff's like in different. But there was five of them. When you, if you go on her page. So I just printed them all. I don't know. Like I said, since I don't edit, you know, it would be a live bingo, and then we're, we'd have to use this somehow. So I'd have to figure out, like, do we just go on Trend Moods page and start banging off stuff? Because I, I still need to figure out, I have no problem, like, getting pictures here. That's not the problem. But they go, like, we put the pictures in a folder and use a random number generator. And I'm like, well, how the fuck does that work? That's what I need to actually figure out of... How do they randomly pick these? Because you'll see on their screens, they put up like, these are products we may or may not talk about. And like, they can flash up like 100 pictures. <laughs> Especially now, this stuff's dropping, you know, left and right. But I, I don't know how to, like, I know it's going to be some app I'm going to have to download. A random number generator, and maybe I should download one of them. I'm hoping they're free. Yeah, my hair's been growing pretty quick. I'd say give or take. Um, I still got, see. I still have a lot of dark, which is weird too. But I have so much of that silver white because the shampoos I did use up a couple. Of the, I got all the empties over here too. <laughs> that Kerastase and all that. So I did change out to just different Kerastase brands. That's a good idea, Patty, because like something on Velcro or something, like little covers, like you're saying, to change the brands out or something. Yeah, Patty's got like this wheel, like you can see it like a carnival with like the little ticker thing. Tick, 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 tick. Can you spin it and it lands on something? <laughs> I know, I think the big O would be fun too. And even live is even crazier. But like I said, I got to figure out a way to go like kind of show you what it is. <laughs> Cause I won't be able to pop it up on the screen. We go low budget here. <laughs> we ain't fancy with you know, popping stuff in the corner. Yeah, don't know how to do that. I guess I'm lucky I can even upload the actual videos on the camera up into, the, into this. Oh man. Oh great. I don't even want to look at the fucking empty. And I still have more upstairs that I still can add in, so we'll do those in a couple weeks. But I definitely wanted to show people those, the lauder and the Lancome sets, just in case anybody's curious of what's in them, makeup-wise. Like I said, the the lauder one, no, the Lancome had two choices: one with a cheek palette, that's the one I 99% sure I picked, and then the other one came with you know the eyeshadow on the blush thing so i don't know it could have been me 
I don't know. Still waiting on the Lunar Beauty. That's still sitting in California. It's going, it shipped. And all it did was get like picked up and it's been sitting for fucking days. So, don't know where the fuck that is. My other one left England. So I know that left, so that'll be here. Usually they're faster than fucking... I bet I'll probably get the Made by Mitchell before I get the Lunar. Which will make me laugh, because I've had this happen before, where order from England, order from California. And usually the England one makes it here quicker. <laughs> which makes no fucking sense. But yet our mail system sucks, so... And it's only getting fucking worse. Oh, okay, Laura's got a free app on her PC called Spin the Wheel. You can make multiple wheels. It's great for picking my eyeshadow palettes to use. Well, that'd be fun. The new ABH Mini 8 Pan Palette is great, and it's new shades. Nice merino as well. I think I saw that one, Marcia. Kind of mauve -y, kind of pink shades. It almost reminded me, which is funny, of... I've had this one sitting here to do a get ready with me with, and then you know me, I just grab something else by Lawless. Nope. Uh, this is the the baby one. Okay. This is a pretty little sucker too. Oh, see, I still can't tell if I've actually swatched this. This is a nice palette though. Okay, I think I have swatched it at least. I do like this Lawless brand. I don't know what the hell to think I'm going to look for. These suckers really pigmented. <laughs> like rose gold. This this is kind of my kind of palette. It really is. Deep plum. Rosy gold. Wow, that's fucking cranberry. This little fucker's pigmented. I want, I want to say this is maybe $28, give or take. And you get 8 grams of product, so each shade is a gram. Talc free. 12 month shelf life. Because I'm really enjoying that mascara there's. Yeah, look at that. This fucker's pigmented compared to, <laughs> compared to the land comb and the other one. Yeah. Oh, I'm supposed to be using my tablet. I'm not shaking the. I'm going to shake you, ladies. Shake you up. Okay, we can get out of Macy's. Fuck Macy's. <laughs> YouTube. I think you're right, Patty. She, uh, she thinks that palette's possibly on the Ipsy website. You might be right. Ooh, Marsha got the freaking bats from Shroud Cosmetics and Hollow Bean palette is on the way. Have you ever tried Shroud? Marsha? Because I she used to be what um I have a whole palette of her other stuff. Ah. Uh, she's another one changed names. I have a whole palette. She makes beautiful eyeshadows. Okay, let's just shut down. Interesting. What's going on here? My tablet's having a tantrum. <laughs> okay, it does not want to open. Just keeps kicking me back to the home screen. <laughs> open. Hello. Okay, I guess that does not want to play, so I'm just going to shut this fucking thing off. Power off. Because what I'm thinking of doing is a lethal order. I'm sure they'll have a sale here eventually. So I have all the mats on this side. 
and then the shimmers on this side. Wow, that's really blown up by the lights. But you know me, I want to fill the damn finish up filling the palette. And there's a couple shades, you know, like I said, of online. I can't go by the goddamn colors on there. Now what I drop, oh my god. That's a good brush. We don't want to drop the persona brush. <laughs> Why are you over here, persona? Marsha, the KVD Moon Garden palette. That's a new one. Uh, lousy. She's returning it. Not worth the 42. Last two years were great, but this one has poor pigment. Thanks for the info. You'll love it, Marsha. Great products. What was her other name? Hold on. Hold on. I have her close. I know I do. I thought I had her close. <laughs> Shit. Got boxes in the fucking way. <laughs> oh, what the hell was the name of her brand before that? Shit. I don't think this is her either. No. I know I have a full palette. Her stuff. No. Oh, right here. Hold on. Beautiful products. Absolutely beautiful. What the hell was she called beforehand? Strobe. <laughs> she used to be Strobe Cosmetics. Now she's Shroud. Uh, <clears throat> purple. A couple purples here. Blue. Look at these. Watch this shit. Oh, these puckers aren't blue unless I pick up any on that purple. I put the blue right over the damn purple. Did I show you the fucking thing? <laughs> and she puts a decent amount of product in these two, I think. These are two and a half gram pans. Now, I don't know what the new ones are. So I don't know if it would have the same. This is called Sea of Ghosts. I don't know why she had to change the name. <clears throat> they, there's usually a reason why they have to change the name of a product. I'll show you the orange. Rose gold. Beautiful products. I'm sure I have older videos using these. That like bronzy shade. <clears throat> yeah, so she was strobe cosmetics. Now she's shroud. <laughs> but yeah, great product. Definitely. You would find them. When do I find them? 
I know Natasha's dropping another fucking palette. What's this one? The retro glam palette or something? I'm like, fuck. Strobe Cosmetics is now Shroud Cosmetics. Yeah, you were right, Caitlin. It was Strobe. <laughs> Come on, thank you, Linda. Oh, yeah, the teals, the purples. <clears throat> but she has a great formula, too. I mean, these have got to be over two years old. And they work just fine. There's like, I got a hot pink in here, kind of like a fuchsia. I don't know if I did that one. But... You can see I did a nice little mix here of, and these are all shades. <laughs> There's no mattes in this palette. So you know me, I did some lighter shades and then, you know, get into the playful. But yeah. That she does like collabs and whatnot. This is a Sephora um, Z palette where it's deep. I think they still call it a domed Z palette. You can see how much space is left in here. So if you actually can actually depot a baked product, which is a nightmare and a bitch because they're very fragile. The only thing on the bottom of those is usually it's either a tile, like a actual clay tile, or um, like it's like plastic which is a nightmare too that it's held to because that's where it's like poured into that mold like that. But that's why this is a little deeper. Just trust me, I tried depotting baked products back in the day and oh boy. <laughs> they break very easily. <laughs> unfortunately. Thank you, Laura. Yeah, and I think she was literally when I was buying from her like in college or something. Or right out of college, making the stuff again herself. And, you know, to see this formula going, holy shit. You know, it's right up there with, like, give me glow. All that of, this is quality product. This isn't just some crap. <laughs> I mean, these two are worse compared to that. <laughs> Yesterday's a little better, like I said, but. Yeah. But at least uh, I'm not getting another. And this little Too Faced brush. Because I even called up Gina. I was like, do you have the HSN app? She's like, should I? I'm like, well, yeah. <laughs> yeah, should. And that's what she's teasing me. Like, what the fuck are you buying this for? You're not even like a big Two-Face fan. I'm like, I don't like their shit. But, you know. What the fuck? Do the mascara down on the mascara drawer. And this little eyeliner that I grabbed from Amazon. This little sucker's not bad. B-E-P-H-O-L-A-N. This one's like a duochrome. It's a decent little sucker. It goes purple to blue. Yeah, purple to teal. And it actually stays pretty decent on the waterline, too. Yeah, the Urban, great color, just doesn't last on the waterline. Most of them don't last on the fucking waterline. Oh, where is Rosie? Yeah, she didn't pop in here. She might be out with her son. That's possible. There's more of these pallets out of the way. Oh, if you haven't seen on, I posted on Instagram and it has like three likes or something. I'm like, I swear these pictures don't go anywhere anymore. If you do the Ipsy refreshments where they have hair care, skin care, I mean, shaving stuff, all of it. I'll do, like I said, I should do a regular video on it too, but I posted it today. So I'm good there. Um, new lip balms. And like I said, one of them is caramel swirl. Love it. Obsessed. And the other one's like a sweet mint that smells and, you know, has a, even though you can kind of taste them, it's not like chemically, it's, you know, decent. And then they're cleansing balm. The other problem is I have no idea what the prices are. <laughs> I couldn't even find them on Ipsy of what are the prices without trying to join refreshments. Because refreshments, from what I did look up, seems like 
you get to pick the products you want. It's almost like, like your little own refreshments bag. And then you could pick like monthly. I want it every two months, every three months. So I don't know if you'd pick certain products or I'm not sure on that Ipsy refreshment part how it works, but got that sent over and the cleansing bomb worked. Like I said, I will never know if it takes off eye makeup because I only take off eye makeup with double action remover like this is Estee Lauder. This is double too, right? Maybe it's not a double. This isn't a biphase, is it? No. Oh, I don't like this one as much. I use the ones that are biphase where you have to shake it and it mixes the oil with it. I always use that to take off eye makeup. So I can never tell you if it actually a cleansing balm would take off your mascara and all that. I would have no idea. And plus I see you know girls online do it of even Steph and all that. I'm going the lipstick and I'm just like, no, I, I take off all the eye makeup with that. And then even the lipstick, I might even take off with the back of the tissue from, you know, taking the eye makeup off. And then I just use the cleansing balm to get all the makeup off. But it's so funny to watch them like and their eyes are all black and then whatever lipstick's like all over their face. And to me, it's just like, ah, and I'd be taking that lipstick and rubbing it into my cheeks. Like, nope, <laughs> no. Nope. So I take those off separately. I'd never take you know, with the cleansing balm. <laughs> Pyramid's thinking about getting the Too Faced Pumpkin Spice Palette. Check HSN. <laughs> I think that one's on there too. But it's wild how they have that because I was just like, fuck you, I'll go over to my computer. And it was wild to go out of the computer and just punched in Too Faced and here come up the exact same items that were full price. So like, you know, if the palette said it was like 50 something dollars. Oh, no, but I'm looking at my app, and it's showing up, like I said, the 30-something. So it was like, okay, they weren't shitting you with you need to buy this on the app. Because I'm not much on doing that. This is pretty, though, Teresa. Teresa or Marsha, one of you, was excited I got this. I mean, at least they put two purples in this one. <laughs> Actually, three. Because this looks like a deep purple here, too. I'll have to do get ready's with me with them. Because I know I don't have this one. I might have this one. <laughs> I might have the cinnamon. I don't know. I don't know. This has the fake peach smell. I smell like cinnamon buns. Yep. I mean, they're all pretty, but they're all pretty basic and same shit, different palette. <laughs> Bam! Ah, I ain't doing no fucking videos on Instagram. They can kiss my ass. Because <clears throat> making videos, I either have to be down here or outside. I'm not doing them anywhere else in my fucking house. Not gonna happen. Oh, try the bombs, Patty. Try them. Don't let them scare you. The best way to check it is... um. Because I like the ones, because there are some, and I think Elemis was one of them. Okay, I want to say how they rinse clean. And then some, it almost leaves like a fucking film on your face. All the ones I use, rinse clean. And I just use, no me, good molecules. I'll use the refreshments. I also have, which I'm almost done with, uh, the Wish Beauty from Huda. See, you know me, I always have three or four of everything open. So those are the three I have open, and then with the fourth is the Ipsy one they just sent me. Put a little, like, on your hand, you know, and, and you'll see it turns from that bomb, which, and it quickly turns into an oil as soon as you're, like, you know, your heat on your body touches it. And then just splash some water on. I'll probably do it in the video when I do this. I'll put, like, some makeup on my fucking hands and blush some bronze or all that shit, and then spray it with some water to show people and then how it wipes away. So most of them, it'll just be like, you know, a clear oil as you're rubbing it in, which actually feels good because it's like you're almost getting like a good face massage. That's why I like like the pharmacy, the apple one, because it actually smells so fucking good. I literally blew through the peach one because I was really disappointed that it didn't have a really good peach scent to it. After having the apple, I said, oh, my God, the peach one's going to just be incredible because I love the smell of, you know, fresh peaches. 
And that was disappointing. So I was just like, I, the other three I left and every night I was just fucking pounding through that one and pounding through it to get to it. So after that, then wet your face. Now it's going to almost turn into like a milk color, which is kind of crazy. And then just keep, you know, splashing your face with the water and go, and it should rinse right off. And then go in for another cleanse because that's your first cleanse. <laughs> and you can go back in with the same stuff, but I usually switch. That's when I'll go to like the Otzi, the O-T-Z-I one. That's like one pump. That bottle is going to last me forever. Or any other little cleansers that I'm trying to use up. And that's what I'll also add in maybe like a little exfoliator from like that Keys line, that Keys Soul Care. Or before that, I would throw in my Good Molecules, a little exfoliator, in with the right with the next step to double cleanse and get everything off. But there, I haven't seen any lately. But I know I've run across. I think one of them was Elemis, where it just it, you can feel this fucking film on your face. It's like it didn't want to come off. It was aggravating as hell. But most will just rinse clean, which is nice. It's worth trying. It freaked me out at first when they came out with the shows. Like. Can we put oil all over my fucking face? Like, what the fuck are you talking about? But it does, once you do it, it's like, oh, okay. Oh, fuck me, Teresa. <laughs> <laughs> Teresa, I might get another peach palette in my glam bag. Fun being my friend. My friends get more shit. <laughs> Daddy's are but they, they do all the same fucking colors, <laughs> They just move the fucking shades around. <laughs> In the peach. Okay, see, I have no way of holding all these in one fucking shot. This is why outside's easier. <laughs> but here's, say, like, the peach. And the chocolate. <laughs> so the chocolate one's this one. <laughs> so it's darker. These are some of probably the darkest shades I've seen. But yeah, if I went through and laid out probably every two days, <laughs> especially on their neutrally shades, they just repeat them and re and then they'll like change the name. And it's like, it's the same fucking thing. And like I said, back in the day, people would be, especially on Instagram with, they would get pissy seeing me buying like Makeup Revolution. So I would put swatches down my fucking arm, both sides of Makeup Revolution. Yeah, you know, they dupe like, Say they duped the peach palette, shade for shade. And then I'd put the Too Faced on one side, then the Makeup Revolution on the other, and go, you fuckers tell me which one it is. You think you're all that. And the funniest part is most people would pick the Makeup Revolution side, and I'm like, wrong. It's the two. This is Too Faced. This is, you know, because the way I'd crop the picture of I'd have the palette on each side. Just so nobody thinks I'm fucking lying to you. And all I was doing was cutting out the picture so you couldn't see the palette. And then the next picture, I just go, okay, I'll, I'll post another pic and show you the difference. And, you know, it's like, it's fucking brown to brown. Fucking deal. <laughs> One's, you know, back then it would have been $10, $12 for the palette. Compared to $50 plus now for palettes. See, Laura still going old school with the ponds. Melt your makeup right off. And it takes off her waterproof mascara. Good to know. Hello, Alexandria. Happy Halloween. Not tonight. I'm guessing I'm a little hag. That's nice. <laughs> That's tonight's costume. <laughs> old bitch. <laughs> mean old. I can't even say I'm a grandmother because I'm not a granny. I have my furry fuckers, but <laughs> they don't reproduce in this house. <laughs> Pyramid just watching for the novelty. <laughs> I think they seem to go back and forth on the packaging. One minute it's fucking tin. Like th this one's tin. <laughs> this one is. And then this cardboard. <laughs> like I said, I, I, otherwise you all know. I wouldn't have fucking bought those at full price. There's no fucking way. There's no fucking way I'd pay full price for that. That's what a lot of people like is, see, I'm not one who buys for the packaging. It's a bonus if, like, the shit's cute. Like, oh, cool, it's cute. I want the product inside to be good. <laughs> and Too Faced Shadows have always been, as long as I've been buying this shit, 
hit or miss. Occasionally they'll put out, you know, a couple really damn good shades, but and now, see, you gotta remember, they two faced owner, remember they were kind of on their own. He sold out too. So now again, I think th who bought them? Did Laurie Estee Lauder bought them or L'Oreal? One of the fucking two bought them. And it's, so you never know what the fuck's gonna go out the formula. Yeah, I didn't know that the ponds would take off waterproof makeup either. Oh, that's true, Teresa. Maybe that's why they used it so much back in the day. Exactly. The they're always a brown <laughs> with a pop of green, purple, and occasionally blue. Because here they got the pop of purple. This is the pumpkin, or this is the swirly one. This one I'm curious about, though. This is the Sunset Stripped. Like I said, I have the other palette like this, and the other one's very nice, and I am liking the color story in this now that I've seen it in person. The peach, you have your fucking pop of green, and a purple. <laughs> Better than chocolate, blue, purple, green. Which is fine. Alexandria, we've been watching funny adult Halloween memes online. <laughs> I'm sure there's a bunch of them. Hi, Sassy. I, I know, with the consistency, I agree. Oh, definitely, Pyramid. Check out the cosmetic company. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, and that's why, again, you could just find this shit in TJ Maxx and all this in a couple months. <laughs> it's where it all ends up anyway. Yeah, Patty, I agree. Some of the wipes feel like they burn your eyelids. That's what makes you reluctant to try things, which I understand that. Because I remember I bought in, actually it was from like HSN, some Beekman, that Beekman 1802. And I bought the wipes because they were biodegradable and like the whole nine. It's like, I hate buying the damn things, but I do use them for certain things. Sometimes like at night, if I'm trying to see like, is this foundation like still here? And I can take a wipe at least. I could do it on a cotton pad too. And then kind of wipe down and go, oh shit. Yeah, that did kind of last or, you know, but I don't consider it any type of cleanser. Because even then, if I just, oh, fuck it, I already got it. Let me wipe off the top surface of shit that's on my face. But I still end up doing a double and or triple cleanse, which is rare. Uh, Society 6. S-O-C-I-E-T-Y, six. I just punch in, like, I think I just punched in, like, fuck coffee mugs or some shit. <laughs> and I have a whole shitload of them. And then if you're on TikTok, I have a whole cabinet full of these fucking things. <laughs> Check out Snarky Nana. And she's on Instagram, too. But Snarky Nana, she has one of my favorites. It's a, actually, These are like um, eight ounce. Hers is 16, which I like the bigger cup. And that one says, what? Fuckity, fuck, 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 fuck. Okay, I feel better. <laughs> and my whole thing is now like fuck mugs when you open it. It's like, fuck, fuck you. Yeah, I'm fucking gorgeous. <laughs> Well, you're set to go there, Alexandra. She's only got one two-faced palette, the chocolate gold. You don't need any others. <laughs> it's all the same. <laughs> and I hate to say that. But overall, it's basically the fucking same, give or take. And, and I can say the same fucking thing about Tarte. <laughs> do I still buy Tarte? Yes, I do. I've been buying Tarte for years. Love Tarte. <laughs> And that is weird. Well, okay, Pyramid Her, the pumpkin spice is good quality, which I'd hope so. And I think you guys said the better than chocolate one was pretty good, too. Yeah, I'm excited to actually try these. I, like I said, I might own Sweet Peach. I don't think I do. I know I have the highlighter palette and all that. Oh, I agree, Bam. They're boring to buy, but like I said, they do photograph beautifully. And now that I have a shitload of them, I'm going to drag them all outside. I'll grab all the, and I wish they're, the only thing I wish with them is, I hate this, 
I want it to go fucking flat. This is a nightmare trying to take a photograph of this shit when these tops don't go back. Because I'd like them all flat. <laughs> be a lot fucking easier. Because then, you know, I'm just seeing in the, well, the reflection, I'm usually on a mirror. So you're seeing the sky. But with, when it's cocked like that, you're usually seeing the woods because I'm surrounded by woods. <laughs> Malu, how you doing, darling? Her favorite channel from them is labeled whore. Yeah. <laughs> Uh-oh. Marsha's T-Mobile went off. I'm on T-Mobile too, I think. Well, I'm still, I actually still get a Sprint bill, but I'm T-Mobile. Uh, Google that shit. They're in certain uh, states. I know we have one here in Connecticut. It, is it called The Cosmetic Company or something like that? They're usually, well, ours is in a, um, one of those like outdoor kind of mall things. Discount outlets, outlet stores. That's what it is. And I think ours is called The Cosmetic Company. But trust me, that fucker's down like by the beach. So that would be a good hour ride for me, if not longer. I have enough makeup. I don't need to drive an hour for it. <laughs> That's true, too. Teresa's right also. Bam, you may want to try the mini little Too Faced palettes. Those ones are decent. I invite them. Even then, I wait till they go on fucking sale. Everything's going to be on sale in two months anyway. Thank you, Laura. She said, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit all that shit. <laughs> exactly, Marcia. She uses the wipes. To like clean dust off stuff. Exactly. Because what like those Beekman ones. That was one where I put it on my face and it fucking burned. I was like, fuck you. So I did. I was like, you all. Oh, let me wipe down the counter with it real quick. Or like you said, oh, this is dusty. Let me wipe the <laughs> They never touched my face again. Good deal, Pyramid. TJ Maxx is everything. Found the Norvina Mini palettes last week. The purple and the pink one and the green one. Six bucks each. That's a fucking deal. And they're nice palettes. Those are all pressed pigments. Yeah, because even the minis run, what, 20-something dollars? And I've caught those at TJ Maxx. I know I've caught them there. Or again, HSN, QVC, even Ulta, Macy's. They throw them on sale for like 12, 13 bucks. And you're getting like six, seven shadows. I think I moved them because I did have them over here. She eventually shipped those back in the drawer. I did have one over here for a while. Nope, it's back in the drawer. Caitlin loves TJ Maxx, too. TJ Maxx and Marshalls. It's just fun. Thanks, Terry. Terry likes the coffee mug, too. Oh, see, Patty, yours is like an hour away, too. Yep, they, and they do. They sell Estee Lauder, Mac, Too Faced. I think people have found Tom Ford there. It's like a TJ Maxx, but I think it's just all makeup. Hi, Jeannie. Ponds is sold in Dollar Tree. I think you're right. Yeah. I, I'm pretty sure. Oh, Jesus, Marsha. Yeah, that Beekman. See, I'll never buy them again after that. The Beekman eye serum made her eyelids swell for days. Fuck. Yeah, that Beekman, I just bought it on a whim going, uh, you know, because it was probably in the sales section. And it was like, oh, well, you know, to me, I go, oh, shit, they're biodegradable. Cool. I like stuff like that. You know, then I don't feel that bad fucking using them. But it was really like, what? It, it, it like burned my face. And my, I could take a lot with skincare, all that. You know, and I was like, what the fuck is in these things? You know, like, what the hell is going on? <laughs> I don't know what the hell was in it. It was just like. I felt like I was putting like pure alcohol on my face. It was weird. Oh my god, my nails are destroyed. <laughs> Malu loves them. Oh, oh, that's good crap. Oh man. He actually got up for nine o'clock in the morning to get a massage. <laughs> Me, nine a.m. Yeah, I think we'll play Halloween tomorrow. Yeah, because I just... I forgot I even got these fucking things from Profusion. 
the car. So I got the little horns over here. Tomorrow's close enough. <coughs> Luckily, I don't have to give out candy because we don't have kids up here. Okay, little horns. Let me put some. <laughs> oh. Hopefully, these are, these are self adhesive. I guess we'll find out when we play tomorrow. Little Devil Brenda. <laughs> Devil B. Yeah, because I bought that was in this little profusion set here. There's an eyeshadow palette with it somewhere too. Okay, with the little horns and an ugly ass uh you know, ugly ass lipstick. The headband and the little shadow palette had a press glitter in it, but there's like I was laughing. I think tomorrow someone asked me, like, Brian, oh my god, are you gonna use that glitter? I was like, mm -mm, not gonna happen. <laughs> not happening. I don't need my eyes all fucked up for days. I don't blame you, Laura. Laura got the beak banana subscription box and threw it away. Oh, I love Glam Glow. <laughs> I use those masks all the time. The Oh my god. I have the berry one, the brightening, the super mud, which is like the clearing treatment. Uh the main one. I think I have them all. I go through yeah, they're in the they're in there's probably some over there. <laughs> some I, I don't know if they, I don't want to say they burn. No, they don't actually burn. Maybe the darkest one might have like a little tingle to it because they're super mud, the brightening. It's one of them where even because my skin will go red. Like I'm actually not too bad tonight, which I'm kind of shocked. But sometimes after I take those off, uh, my skin can be, it'll flare up and be all, you know, bright red for a little while. And that's where I just, you know, spray on all my sprays and all that. Oh, Malu, you know Jared from Too Faced? I'm glad he sold out. <laughs> yeah, see, Teresa, they had a body product that is similar to Shea Butter, and it's pretty good. She did not declare that one. See, I think that's where I probably had tried Beekman in the past. And like you said, it was probably like some body lotion or like one of the thicker creams or something. So I was like, well, what the hell bad can like the, excuse me, wipe things be? Boy, did I find out. Patty's got the profusion set for dad. You don't, don't breathe on the makeup yet. <laughs> Not if you don't feel good. I'm inviting him to this channel for honest feedback. No blue smoke with his ass. <laughs> Tell him, feel free to watch. <laughs> Not like he's going to send me PR, so I'm not worried about it. <laughs> Happy anniversary, 19 years. You got married on Halloween. Did you like dress up for your wedding in Halloween costumes? Halloween, Teresa said, well, Halloween's the only time of year her mother would let her eat a good amount of candy. <laughs> Halloween is not evil, <laughs> far from it. I, like I said, back in the day, I was that nut dressing up can can girl outfits and pebbles from the Flintstones, you know, fucking big ass bone in my hair with the hair all fluffed up. I loved Halloween. Loved it. But then none of my friends would play. I'd be like, come on, dress up. <laughs> Let's go out. And they wouldn't dress up so say we'd all go to like a diner or something. I'm the only idiot sitting there with a full on costume and they're just like in regular clothes going, this is no fun. Yeah, Halloween's fun. Yeah, the dark one is the one that Sassy tried. Okay. Yeah, they have other ones that are like very gentle. They have one that's like a berry. It's more moisturizing. And that you just, you know, put a little on. And then you could just literally kind of wipe away with a tissue. And then anything that's left, just kind of pat it in. It's not like you have to totally wipe it off. Oh, I still got something burning over here. Halloween used to be fun. I mean, I, the funniest thing now is where they keep going like, 
you know, oh, the people are putting drugs in the candy. It's like, bitch, please. Drug dealers are not putting drugs in the fucking candy for kids. Not going to happen. <laughs> drugs are expensive. <laughs> and I'm not going to give some fucking kid my buzz. Not going to happen. I mean, yes, has there been incidents of, back in even when I was a kid, razor blades in the fucking shit or pins or something like that? Nobody's putting fentanyl in the fucking candy. No. Drugs are way too expensive for that. I think that's the parents' way of going. I'm going to eat all the fucking kids' candy. I got I got to taste test them all. <laughs> she loves the Maleficent horns. Trick or treat. <laughs> Yay, she dressed up. That would be so much fun. Did you do like Corpse Bride or something nutty? Like, you know. See, that's fun. I like when people have fun with that. Laugh if I can give the kid a buzz. Come on. I mean, in reality, you think drug dealers are really putting drugs in the candy? Please. That's not their um future, well, it could be their future clientele down the road. <laughs> But why would you put drugs in, like, little kids' candy? I mean, why? There's just no fucking reason. There's just no fucking reason. They're, that, that's, yeah. No fucking, I can't say a drug dealer doing that. Some crazy asshole? Possibly. I mean, the person I feel bad for right now is Nancy Pelosi's poor husband. 82 years old, getting attacked with a fucking hammer by some crazy fucking MAGA asshole going, holy shit, holy fucking shit. The guy was literally there to kill Nancy. Like, what in the fuck? That kid better go to prison for the rest of his fucking life. And now I think after this, Nancy has full security all the time because she's always getting fucking death threats. But sometimes certain their family members don't get it, like VP and them do but not necessarily Speaker of the House, you know, down. They don't get full protection. After this with her husband, maybe she will have to get protection for him. Which sucks. Exactly, Jeannie. <laughs> if they've got drugs, they're going to keep them and use them for their own needs. Yeah, I don't know what a fentanyl pill goes for, but I know it's expensive and it can fucking kill you. There are some places you could still rent costumes. I know I, we have one here in Plainville, I want to say, in one town over. Because I know I've driven by it. where, But they do more, um, I think I even went in there once. But it was definitely, they like, Christmas, like, oh, rent the, you know, um, Santa Claus fucking costume and the Easter Bunny and shit like that. So I'm sure they have stuff for Halloween, too. Exactly, Andrew Alexandria. Druggies don't give out freebies. Occasionally, they might do a little sneak a teak, sneak a taste, but um, yeah. If the candy's open, just fucking chuck it. I know. Can you believe that shit? Assaulted with a fucking hammer, and he had to have fucking surgery. So, getting hit with a hammer is no. I mean, that ha he's lucky he's not fucking dead. Y'all know of, depending on which way that hammer hit him. Don't forget, you've got a claw end, and then that round, blunt end, and then if you had the whole thing sideways. Because it sounds like they were struggling over it. Then the guy got it and fucking, like, bashed him. And especially being 82 and getting hit with a fucking hammer in the head? Jesus Christ. These fucking people are just out of their fucking minds. But 42-year-old, that doesn't mean he's strong. 42-year-old could still be a pussy. But he's actually fucking crazy, obviously. No, he's lucky he didn't get killed. But I think they said his arm was fucked up too. Something about his arm and his hand. Horrifying though. I'm like, these people should not have to deal with that. They should not have to deal with that. I mean, they get thousands of death threats. But Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, I know she gets a shitload. Um, Jaya Paul. Who's the other one? There's like the squad, those four. They definitely get a lot. And there's no fucking reason for it. Like, enough. That's why we all gotta vote. 
Vote for women's rights, if anything. Because, goddamn, like I said, I didn't have fucking kids. And I'll be fucking damned if I was in my 20s. Some motherfucker, now they're like, these fucking assholes. What was that? Dr. Oz, that dipshit. Oh, yeah, it should be between the woman, her doctor, and their local politician. Yeah, because I need my mayor to come see my uh, gynecological exam. What in the fuck? No. No. You, 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 these Republicans got to fucking go. Because we should not have our rights stripped like that. That is fucking unbelievable. And if I hear one more fucking time these fuckers say, they're having abortions right at birth. Really? Really? And these are all, of course, men talking. It's like, shut the fuck up. You don't know what the fuck women go through with their bodies. You're a fucking douchebag man. Back off of my privates. <laughs> That's why I said we get more women into Congress and the House and in the Senate. We'll start going after their dicks. Go, oh, you, you want to play with me? We're going to fuck you right back. Oh, that was definitely attempted fucking murder. Because he was there. Remember, he was trying to tie the guy up. We're going to wait for Nancy. What the fuck? Oh, my God. Jeannie went to Walmart today. No more Halloween. Even candy aisle. It's fucking just Christmas shit already. Damn, but I like to get that candy the day after. Because <laughs> I'd be going to work on Tuesday. <laughs> so you know damn well I'm either going to cross the street to CVS from work. Or Walgreens or one of them on the way home and go, what they got for left for candy? Because I'll take it at 50% off. <laughs> Hi, Pete. <laughs> oh, the Loki Aldi's was out of pumpkins. Um, I know what I would do, Teresa. Teresa says, I don't know what someone would do if someone hit my daddy. I'd be taking a hammer to that motherfucker right back, I'll tell you that. I saw that too, Laura, what happened in South Korea as well. The death, oh my God, I didn't realize it. Death toll is now like 150. Exactly. Alexander, you would choke a bitch out if someone hit your family. Absolutely. Oh my God, that number just keeps getting worse and worse. What happened to Thanksgiving? Fuck Thanksgiving. <laughs> I'm turkey any time of the goddamn year. I just don't, I'm not a holiday person. Okay, I, I think what, not that ruined it, but you gotta figure, I'm an only child. So it was a very small family. I mean, my family, even when they were alive, <laughs> consisted of me, mom, dad, my uncle, my aunt, my uh, grandmother and grandfather on my dad's side, and just my grandmother on my mom's side. But my grandmother died when I was maybe 10. My aunt killed her younger, like 10, 11, somewhere in there. My uncle, so my aunt didn't, she never got married, had kids. My uncle, he died a couple years ago, but he never married and had kids. So all that's left with me, pure blood-wise, is mom. That's why I'm always like, here I am killing myself not to give my mother COVID, and she's had it twice. <laughs> but I still haven't gotten it, so I'm like doing good with that. But it's, you know, you know me with my mom. Well, anybody fucks with my mom, they're going to get the fucking wrath of me. Because <laughs> even this year, I don't know what we're going to do. I mean, it would be like me, mom, and Greg. And mom, she used to look to go nuts. And it'd be like, girl, we can either go out for dinner. And we're the type, even like Mother's Day this year. I was like, mom. I took her like four days before Mother's Day going, still spending the day with mom. Doesn't have to be on Mother's Day. Who gives a shit? And then I don't have to deal with 10,000 fucking people in a restaurant. Because <laughs> then to me, I find the food quality, wherever you kind of go, almost goes down a little bit because it's so packed and they're just firing meals off. And it's like, no, I'll take her out the day before, day after. Teresa's family always killed hogs on Thanksgiving. And all that, old Porky the Pig. <laughs> Alexandra, I knew I loved you for a reason. I would like to kick these rich communist old men in the droopy sack. Absolutely. Yes, there was a Halloween stampede in South Korea. Everybody's working on Turkey Day, plus your Native Americans. So, yeah. 
We already know what America did to you. Just bad enough. Horrible. And yeah, the Republican Party, I don't know what happened there. <laughs> Part of them, there's, like I said, I still have friends that are Republican. There are still normal Republicans, level-headed, like, you know, just regular fucking people. I just can't put up with these QAnon MAGA morons. It's just like, what the fuck? What happened to these people? I mean, it's the shit they say, it's just like, what happened to the education system? <laughs> Yeah, it's it's not historically accurate. I agree with you, Alexandria. And even I would, even back in the day, for a year, like especially in my 20s and early 30s and all that, because I've lived, like I said, Connecticut, Michigan, Las Vegas, Colorado, and back to here. <laughs> and most people I know have children. So I would be the one at almost every job going, I'll work. Let them, you know, whoever, give them the day off. They have kids. I get it. You have children, all that. You Some people want to play with them. Open presents in the morning. I'll go to fucking work and take either time and a half, double time, or whatever. It's like, I had nowhere to be. Ooh, carne asada. Oh, God, now I'm hungry. <laughs> yeah, Columbus Day is a bullshit holiday, too. Yeah, these MAGA people, I don't, and especially with the QAnon, and I, I don't know what happened there. Even my mom, which is funny. Now, you got to figure she's in her 80s, or she's 80. She's a CNA. Now, pre-COVID, now my mother has multiple sets of friends. So, of course, she has like a set of work friends. Now, pre-COVID, it was two of them. Two of these women Normal as we would just be like any other day. Like, no warning signs, nothing. Just regular conversation. So once, you know, everything started relaxing, everybody's getting their vaccines, mom started eventually, you know, going back out with her girlfriends. <laughs> and all of a sudden, there was the little work bunch. There's maybe like six or eight of them. And all of a sudden, two of them start going on. Now, luckily, I had already talked to my mom, explaining to her about, this QAnon shit and MAGA and what the fuck is with these assholes and kind of gave her the lowdown on the crazy shit they talk about. Didn't these two women start going off like with the QAnon shit of literally saying to my mother like, you know, well, JFK Jr. or JFK is coming back and he's like, or he's coming back and JFK Jr. And my mother's like, what the fuck? And everybody at the table, the one lady next to my mom kept going, what the hell is she talking about? What's happening? Because my mom's like, holy fuck, these two were, like Brenda was just telling me about these QAnon people. And everything was like, you guys aren't enlightened and you're not awake yet. And after that, I think they went one more time. And my mom was like, okay. Now she wouldn't even sit near them. She's like, just put me at the other end of the fucking table. And they started their shit again with this craziness. And my mom, after that, and her and the other girls got together and went, we're done with those two. Because what the fuck happened to those two? Because they were like telling you know, them, you need to like do your own research. And my mom's thinking, I don't know what the fuck kind of research you're doing. Well, holy shit. But they came out with all the crazy QAnon crap going. And my mother was just floored going, I've worked with these women for years. They seemed absolutely normal COVID hit and these two lost their fucking minds and went down that fucking rabbit hole and they're still not out of it oh my god that's so bad over there. Jesus I'm crazy it was funny I started looking up a couple of videos on that Daryl Brooks and there was a couple of, like lawyers and shit like about his antics because I go because to me I go I, like I said I've never seen anything like that and then once I started watching a couple other videos just quick like kind of blowing through them even these attorneys and behaviorists and all this were like holy shit this is a first I'm like okay at least when a lawyer or somebody else goes like this is the most batshit thing they've seen 
makes me feel like, yeah, I'm not crazy because I'm like, I have never experienced anything like that. But you want to watch a wild trial at Daryl Brooks who killed all the people, sick, killed six people, but ran through the Christmas parade with his fucking mother's like, truck, red truck, killed six and injured like 60 something. He had 76 charges. Guilty on all of them. The guy's never going to see the light of day again. Ever. Exactly, Gina. That's what we can't get. They seem normal, but then their mind is crazy. Like, they're fucking brainwashed. Like, how do you get brainwashed like that? Because these women, again, are like CNAs. So they're not dumb. <laughs> when you work in medical professions, you've got to know some shit. <laughs> and that's where my mother was just like, what the fuck? And she was like, thank God you had told me like a couple of these crazy little stories that they happen to be talking about at that time of what was like, I'm like, mom, they're talking about this. And even my mom's like, JFK, you understand he'd be like 120 fucking years old. What are you talking about? <laughs> and oh no. And my mom's like, and you do understand he was a Democrat. It's not a Republican. <laughs> it's like, wow. Happy you, Teresa. Some days you just got to turn the TV off all day. And just do shit and have quiet time with the family. Exactly, Pyramid. Lights on, nobody's home. <coughs> Insane, though. And I don't know why COVID made people crazy, either. Like, stay home with your family? Then why'd you have them? <laughs> like, I, I know people did figure out their kids are assholes. And then I was hoping, okay... Now that you realize little Billy's a jerk off, the way he's treating you, imagine what he's doing to the teacher. That's why, like, back in our day, we can talk back to teachers and all that, but back in our day, they could have belted you with a fucking, they could have cracked you right in the fucking head. <laughs> but kids, a, a lot of children, I should say, not all of them, because never all, they don't fucking manners. And I, the thing I didn't like what, over the past so many years where it was, um, Everybody gets an award. No, that's not fucking reality. You win, you lose. I mean, that's the way it is. But everybody gets an award. No, that shit's stupid, too. Oh, absolutely. there's extreme craziness on all sides. Absolutely. I, Patty, I feel you. I've had a couple friends that don't talk to family members now. Her brother unfriended her because she didn't want to listen to him about Trump all the time. I've seen that a lot with people. That's what I don't get, Jeannie, is why they think Trump is some god. He goes against everything in the book. I mean, he's been married, what, three, four times? Multiple divorces, cheats on all his wives, cheats on everything, lies about everything. I mean, like I said, East Coast people, <laughs> we've known that he's a jerk off since 70s and 80s. The guy's always been a fucking just loser asshole. And somehow he's got these people that with the the flags and it's horrifying, horrifying. It's fucking crazy. Yeah, there's people I don't talk to anymore that I just like. Mm, I don't want to listen to your shit. I'll just ignore you. <laughs> but I'm I get more confused of why do they would just believe some crazy shit like it. It's common sense. Like, oh my God. I mean, don't get me wrong. For years, obviously. Fucking years. Most politicians got away with everything. Probably including murder. <laughs> Internet has changed everything. It, it, I was always hoping it would be more for the good. But it's kind of gone more for the bad. But the shit that comes out of people's mouths, and I, I, I still can't believe sometimes that people actually took the time to write something. Probably reread it to make sure you spelled everything correctly. And then go, yeah, I think I should tell that to the world. Send. And go, what the fuck is wrong with you? What? What? And it's, it's like, even the, the vote, just vote. These fucking midterms are huge. Vote. <laughs> Like I said, for the sake of women. I mean, like my little neighbor out front. She's probably 21, 22 years old. I don't want any fucking, you know, 
bullshit having to go on with her. Like, she's literally having her second baby. She's doing, like, a couple weeks. I think they're going to go for a third, because I was hoping she would have had a girl, of course. Not that I care, but <laughs> it's like, oh, get a little girl that we could play with her in makeup. So I think they want maybe three kids. Cool. But if something medically happens during that pregnancy and she needs that procedure done, I don't need her to have to fight for it. I don't want anyone to have to fight for it. Or where it's, oh, we're going to leave a dead baby in you for fucking weeks and let your body naturally process. Fuck you. No. No, no, no. The only person that's dealing with my body is me and my fucking doctor. I mean, sure, your husband and partner or whatever. But I'll be damned. I'm going to have to go to my governor or, you know, senator or anybody and go, I need this. Can I uh, want to come in the room? Oh, my God. And it's all these men trying to control women again. Next, they'll be trying to take away our fucking voting rights. Exactly. Jeannie, one winner, one loser. Or however many losers. That's how you learn to deal with losing. And kids are. They are now butthurt and go and shoot up schools because they can't accept a loss. Just sad. Or it's, I got picked on. I have nobody friends. Guess what, motherfucker? Everybody gets picked on in school. Every Me too. Sure. And I'm sure I did my share of bullying too. But I'm kind of the same asshole I was as a teenager. And you fucked with me as a teenager. Eh, fuck, fuck you. Whatever. Get the fuck away from me. <laughs> And people don't care, but they, but women need to care right now. Because this is just crazy shit. I agree. I'm not going to read that out loud, Patty, but I agree with you. Even another my girlfriend, her and her brother keep back and forth, back and forth. And she's just like, what the fuck? Makes her nuts. Because you, you all do love your siblings most of the time. <laughs> Exactly, Jeannie. You don't like an abortion? Don't get one. You don't want to smoke. Like, like the person who wrote one time when I woke up in the morning after the live and they go, I don't think I like you smoking. I wrote back like, thanks for watching, but um, not like I'm sitting next to you blowing smoke in your face. What the fuck? I want to sit here and smoke. I'm going to sit here and smoke. Like, but to, let me take again the time to write that in a comment down below that I would see in the morning going, and you know me, I'm like, I, I wanted to go batshit crazy, but I didn't feel like typing either. Like, I, I really probably just wanted to write back, go fuck yourself. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it's like, like, oh, you don't like blue eyeliner? Nobody's twisting your fucking arm to tell you to buy a blue eyeliner. I, it's like people just lost their fucking mind. Like they can't make a goddamn decision. What the fuck is going on? I mean, that's why we have the makeup so we can go. I want pretty stuff. I want more pretty stuff. The only good thing is I already got Gina's birthday present, which is awesome. Now I just got to figure out something for her for Christmas. She's a tough one to buy for too. Because she's crazy like us. But she's more on the neutrally side. That's why I'm thinking I might do a lethal order. I don't know yet. <clears throat> but I would make Gina her own palette of, I know what my Gina palettes are, and give her some nice mattes and some nice, you know, metallics. And like, here, Gina, I made you a palette. <laughs> I mean, I can make her a palette out of my collection here, without a doubt. Malu, I'm pro-life. I'm pro whatever the fuck you want to do with your body is up to you. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, Jay. Like, I want her to Like, you're smoking on camera. Oh, I could be doing a lot worse. Okay, Teresa. Love you. She's switching over to TV. Malu and then you want to regret it every day. but And that's not your fault. That's your body's own way. Also, sometimes that's why your body does, like you have miscarriages and things like that. That's our body's way of knowing this isn't feasible and it's not going to be a viable pregnancy. So that's why sometimes women do have, say, a miscarriage. But then even then, sometimes the doctor still needs to go in and do what is called, what do they call it, DNC, and just scrape you back out to get anything else left in there. 
it's not there's no, no shame in it and nothing shit happens there's nothing you can do about it exactly makeup is definitely therapeutic i'll make you a palette malu exactly abortion should be a choice for all women period It's, you know, but a lot of times, like, if it's, like, and especially when they're going against, like, oh, well, we'll still let it with incest and fucking rape and all this. As it's, again, men who are raping the women, but going, yeah, let her carry that rapist baby. Fuck you. That's why I've even said on other videos. They're going to keep this shit up and God forbid we don't, like, take care of this and get enough Democrats back in. I was in my 20s and you made me carry some fucking baby. I lived in any of these fucking red states. I can guarantee on that fucking birth certificate, knowing I don't know who the father is because I was raped, I would be putting somebody in that government's fucking, whether it's the governor himself or whoever the fuck's on your shit list in your state. He's the daddy and then just walk the fuck out of the hospital. Go, hey, your baby. Daddy, call him. Let him come fucking get it. Says now. I don't fucking want it. <laughs> she, she swear she has small vision. Malu, husband worked in intake prisoners. I have a girlfriend who works at the prisons. I had no people from everywhere. I got cops, I got prison guards, I plumbers, electricians. I know a ton of fucking people. Crazy though. I still didn't do another audio book yet. I still got to pick one. I was looking up that. You guys told me the Hunted series, but it looked like that was maybe only on the Kindle, which I do want a Kindle, but I'm not keen on the Kindle. I don't know if you can listen on the Kindle with the earphones. I've got to have to look into that. Oh my God, Malu. Good thing they all ended up in prison. I mean, even that idiot from Wisconsin, what's, he had charges all over the fucking country. And literally multiple states of bail jumping and one of his baby mamas, he actually, she was like, how old was she? Maybe 14? He was 20 something? So he got in trouble for that. For the minor thing. So this guy should have probably been in fucking prison a long time ago, but now he'll never see the light of day. And if they throw him in Gen Pop, which eventually they probably all end up in Gen Pop, uh, as bad as murderers are, <laughs> believe it or not, they do have morals. <laughs> and killing children is a big no-no with murderers. They don't like that. And this guy really, with his truck, ran through that parade, and I know he killed children, Adults, I mean, he's ran these fucking people over like they were just nothing. Didn't even stop. Once you hit the first person, you think you'd stop and be like, holy shit, did I just hit a fucking, like, oh my God. Oh no, this motherfucker kept going. <clears throat> so, yeah, he won't last long. <laughs> exactly, Jeannie. Let's snip the women. And could have one baby a year, but the man could still have sex with multiple women and get them pregnant. So who's the problem here? It's the men. Exactly. Hi, Tracy Lee. Oh, I believe he still has nightmares. There are so many horrible people. It's absolutely sickening. <laughs> That's what Laura said, too. <laughs> I agree. That's why I said, when you're out, wherever, grocery shopping... Whatever. Keep your fucking head on a swivel. Don't let people fucking come near you. And I'm not even talking just because of COVID. <laughs> In general. Like some asshole try to come up and like, mm -mm. back up. <laughs> nope. You gotta watch your own ass. And as soon as you get in the fucking car, lock the doors. Before you even start the fucking car. As as, I'm like locking the door as I'm shutting it. And I lived in Vegas. You know, so that's a big city and of course, the craziest city like to live in. I never had a fucking issue there ever. Oh God, there's two boys that are missing from California City. Oh my God, there's so many kids that are just stolen and exactly. You gotta watch your ass, and if you have to, make a fucking scene. 
Oh my God, the adoptive parents killed the three months before reporting them missing. Oh my God, that is twisted. I just don't know what's wrong with people. Is it the water? <laughs> is it the air? What the fuck is happening? That makes you not want to leave your house. I mean, that's where with me, I go, COVID was fucking easy. I'm an only child. You, I sit here, shoot shit with you ladies for hours. We could do this every day for hours. <clears throat> Luckily, I didn't, have, and I still have no problem staying home. <laughs> I still only go to work two days a week. But if my boss needed me, he knows in a fucking heartbeat I would jump in the car and go if he needed something. You know, like that. Not a second thought. But overall, mm -mm. I'm still, luckily, once you know your stores, like all your Walmart set up or your grocery store, I can get in and out of a store in less than 15 minutes. <clears throat> I can just roll down the aisle, I'm grabbing the shit as I'm running by and just heaving it. I mean, they just look at me at sometimes at the register, like, because even the bagger, I'm like, go, get out of my way. I will bag this shit myself because <laughs> I can bag it 10 times quicker because I put the stuff on the fucking thing of here's all the frozen shit. Here's the vegetables. Here's the meat. Here's anything else, the breads, whatever. So if it's going down, just bag away. Bam. Just put all the shit together. Simple. Of course, I always get the crazy fuck at the end who's like, oh, you're buying bread. Shut the fuck up and just throw in the bag. I don't want to talk to you. I don't want to talk to anybody. <laughs> I, really, I hate grocery shopping. It's one fucking thing I hate. <clears throat> and I've tried having it sent to the house. Eh. In a pinch, I would do it again, but... Especially with vegetables and shit. I want to pick my own vegetables. And plus me, with oh, eating basically Thai food, Korean food, Chinese food... I'm, I do better at my Asian market. I buy regular food for Greg. Like tonight, I made him, I made him a meatloaf, and I like wrapped it in fucking bacon and had it stuffed with garlic. And then I did the potatoes where you kind of, you can use chopsticks to stop the knife. Kind of just don't slice all the way through. Stuff garlic in between there with the olive oil and bake it up. And I actually had a little bit of it. It's usually not my thing, but. <laughs> Did you wait and check that receipt? Well, I get these slippers off. Ugh. Ugh. Crossing my legs is the worst thing to do, but I gotta cross at least one. Ooh. Back spasm. Oh, Ooh, I did a Viseart order. Well, Muse Beauty Pro. So that'll be coming. She launched two new palettes. I want to say it's San Francisco and Paris. And then, of course, I'm used Beauty Pro. They had a, a little bundle. The two palettes and one of their dual-sided eyeliners. And the eyeliner was actually like a purple. So I could see, oh, it has a dark purple on one side and then like a lighter lavender on the other. So I was like, wait a minute. These liners have got to be new. So I jumped over to Isom's which is Muse backwards, <laughs> so it's Muse's line. I jumped over to the new eyeliners, and son of a bitch, they had a double-sided with a light blue and a dark blue, so I grabbed that too. <laughs> so that'll be coming. You know, I love me my Viseart. And she actually has, there's another one too, one of the little 12 pans. I can't keep up with her sometimes either. Yeah, gotta get the Viseart, Laura. Yeah, there's really, it's called Paris, I think Paris and San Francisco, because she goes between both. She has a San Francisco house, I believe, and then Paris. Oh, look, okay, when Valu was pregnant with her last child, the gentleman at work made her a burrito of meatloaf and jalapeno was the best. Oh yeah, I'd rather eat the meatloaf in a sandwich, I actually did tonight. <laughs> I stuck in between. I just did one piece of bread and just, I just had a little sandwich and just one potato. Oh, good night, Linda. We'll see you next week. We're, well, we yeah, got too much longer to go. We're already 220 in, it looks like. Jeannie ordered some Katkin's eyeshadows for Christmas presents. I didn't know they shipped all the way from China. She's been waiting a hot minute. Oh, yeah, that can take a little while.
Exactly. Marcia was wondering, why in this country are men sticking us women with birth control when they don't want kids, yet the side effects from birth control can cause breast cancer? Exactly. What well, could cause a lot more problems than that? I was on, see, that's why I stopped birth control. Because I started birth control when I was 15. And then by the time I was 35, that 35 year was kind of like, especially being a smoker, was like, oh, you should probably stop. And I knew I wasn't having kids. So I would have been down with, I was like, fuck it, you can just give me a hysterectomy and take all that shit out. <laughs> and they were like, no. <laughs> and I love the men who make it like that too. That we could just walk into a doctor's office and go, oh, just, you know, give me this right now. No, that's not how it works. Because I was like, dude, I'll sign it off on that shit. You want to take it out? And they're like, no, we just, no, we're not going to just do that. And that's where, uh, I, so of course I got off the pill. Now my periods went back to like seven fucking days a week. Like when I was a teenager, before I was 15, which was miserable. Because once I was on the pill, it was like, you know, that three day period. I was like, okay, I could deal with that. So I get off the pill and son of a bitch, they came back in full force. And I was just like, fuck this. I will take my fucking chances. I think I made another point, but I was like, put me back on it. Or I think I was talking to the nurse out front. And I was like, girl, I ain't going back to this shit seven days a week. Fuck this. There's got to be something. At that point, she was Bronto, they have this thing that's called an ablation. Where they go in, or did I have the tubes done first? See, I've had two procedures. I don't know which one I had first, though. Which one did I have first? Maybe I did the East Shore first, which those are like corkscrews. It's like a titanium corkscrew. And it's not invasive. They just go straight up in you, and they slide them into your fallopian tubes. Your body attacks it and makes scar tissue. And scar tissue, I must have did that first. Scar tissue is your tubes. You go back about three months later. So for those three months, they're like, be careful. And I was with Greg. <clears throat> and then after three months, I went in. It was a live x-ray where they shot me up with dye to make sure the dye wasn't going past where those little, I mean, they're probably fucking minuscule, to make sure the, the fallopian tubes were clogged, which I, I can see it right on the fucking screen of, oh, yeah, it's clogged. But then I still was having the periods, like, lasting forever. So then that's where probably within a year I went to have the ablation where I had the one where, because there's multiple ways of doing that now too. I had the one where it's like a roller ball and it has like an electrical charge and, zzz, and it'll zap your skin, the interior, to zap it all off. So that's where they had put me into on purpose menopause. They gave me some crazy fucking shot and was like, all right, this is going to throw you into menopause and it makes like that lining grow in your uterus. So now they can fry it all off. So here was me expecting like, holy shit, I'm gonna have a hot flash and all this crazy crap. So I bought all this homeopathic shit, figuring, I don't know, I'm gonna see what the fuck a hot flash feels like. Nothing, no symptoms of anything. So now once I turned 50, because <laughs> the ablation thing did work for about three years. And it was funny, it was on Halloween. <laughs> I was at work and went to the ladies' room and was like, uh, do I have a kidney infection? Why do I have blood? What is fucking happening? So, of course, I'm Googling, like, what's a kidney or bladder infection? I'm like, I don't know what's happening. Couldn't figure it out, so called the gynos. They're like, oh, he's at the hospital. You know, I go, you tell that fucker to call me when he gets back. I, I Something's happening. I got, what the fuck is happening here? Yeah, on the phone with him, and he's like, Oh, Brenda, your body's a miracle. So some of it must have grew back. Great. So I did have minor periods for a little while. I mean, just minor. Minor. And now I know I haven't had a period in probably three years, give or take. I did think I had a hot flash, though, a couple weeks ago. But I still, still don't know if the room was just too warm or what was happening. But it came, like, from here. I felt hot, but I did have, like, heavier sweatpants on and a heavier shirt. And I, and I felt myself get hot real quick. And I was like, oh, if I have a hot flash, and I kind of looked in the one mirror and I go, oh my God, do I look red? And by the time I made it into the bathroom, I go, oh, I'm back to normal. What, did I turn red? You know, it was just so fast. It only happened the one time. Oh, I don't know. It's crazy. 
Malu, what you buy for the floor? Buy the LYS mini blushes. They're actually not that many. They're about four grams a piece. You get three of them for 20 bucks. Where are they? I got shit everywhere. These ones. LYS. Buy what you want to buy, girl. What's, what's catching your eyeballs? But this was definitely a good deal. Because this is full size. This is six and a half grams at full size. And even full size, I want to say is maybe $19. You're getting three that are four gram, which isn't even, it's still, that's not even half. It would only be what, three and a quarter. <laughs> so you're getting four grams of product and three of them for 20 bucks. So to me, that was a great deal. So I definitely grabbed that. If these tart little maracuja things, like this is like the plumpy one, I think. Yeah, because the shiny ones are plumpy. And these are just like juicy. I think they have mixed sets. If you like these, that's a good deal because these are probably over 20 bucks a piece. So if you get a pack of four for 40 bucks or something, make some $10 a piece. Skincare, if anybody wants, like, I would personally get, I finally used it again the other night. I was like, I miss you, but I'm trying to get rid of other products. The Tatcha cleanser, the rice cleanser, whatever it is. It's a pretty big tube. A pea size amount is all you need. Literally the size of a pea is more than enough. It's wild. But again, it's K-Beauty. So if you're wanting, you know, skincare, Belief, go with the K-Beauty brands. Belief, well, even pharmacy is good too. Um, what's it on? Holy shit. Glam Glow, too, if, if you like Glam Glow. Glow Recipe. Pure Least. I don't think they sell Pure Least, though. It's Sephora. No. What else is there? Definitely the, any of the Belief products. The Glow Recipe, because they make nice sets, too. Like I said, I bought the perfume sampler for my mom. The Huda palette was for me. Obviously. Did I buy anything else? Some of the lip sets, there's a shitload of Clinique. And that's like everywhere. So always, and don't forget, sometimes check Macy's. Check QVC HSN because sometimes you get the better deal through them. Anything from the Sephora collections, 30% off. They make nice products. Eyeliners, their shadows. Even that little Christmas set. This one here. Ah! Oh my God. <clears throat> the Wishing You. I know Teresa, I think she bought the bigger one. It's like, there's different palettes of these. But these were really nice. And I had noticed online that this is a purple highlighter. I was like, holy shit. And the bottom one's green. But this was a nice little palette. But the Sephora collection, their lippies, oh my god, those lip stories, those are so good. And they have a shitload of colors. Uh, the double, like I said, if you don't want the tart, say Man Eater. This one here, the big one. They have that two set. There's a couple tart sets that are pretty good. If you like tart blushes, they are smaller, they're not full size, but they have the tart blush palette. I didn't get it because I had go, Brenda, you have so many fucking tart blushes. Stop. I mean, I have too much of everything, but I'm trying to be good. But certain things, I'm just like, that'll eventually be on sale. So I'll grab it when it's half off. <laughs> Marsha. Marsha got apples thrown at her for trick-or-treating at one house. Well, that, I hope you threw it back at them. Oh, yeah. Hell's definitely waiting for the orange idiot. No problem, Tracy Lee. She's watching TV, too. Jeannie's 51. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Is it menopause or not? Even I was my guy, oh, she was like, as long as you go a year straight. Because I could have started it maybe. It could have been 49-ish I might have started <laughs> But then I did, might have had a break because she's like, did you do a year straight? And I'm like, well, like I've been paying attention. And I go, I might have had a breakthrough one time. Fuck. She's like, unless you know you've gone a year without it, then you're, you know, 
you'll still have it. But I think they have a blood test now too. They can tell you either if you're going into it or like when to get it. Because not everybody gets it like at 50. But luckily, see, my mom had no symptoms of menopause either. So I lucked out with her with that. <laughs> I was like, thanks, mom. Because <laughs> I've seen plenty of women I worked with. It was wild to like see somebody turn bright red and it just go like straight up. It's just like, holy shit, what's happening? And they would just casually be like, I'm like, you look like you're on fire. Are you okay? <laughs> but they would get really fucking red. <clears throat> and then they'd say like, oh my God, I get night sweats and all this. I'm like, what? I had none of that. But as I laugh with my mother, I go, it's hard to tell sometimes if you're a bitchy or not because I'm already a bitch. <laughs> Yeah, periods are just... If men even knew what a period was and had to experience a fucking cramp, they would never fucking... Mm -mm. I love the Lincoln Project, Marsha. I even watched them on... Um, they have a new series like on HBO. And those, again, normal Republicans, not crazy batshit assholes... And Rick Wilson and all them. Oh my God. They've done, their ads are just incredible. But, and even I think Liz Cheney is like, is she supporting, she's putting like 500 grand towards a Democrat and maybe, is it Arizona with that crazy Carrie Lake bitch? She's another one who's a nutball. I hate to say that too, because like I said, I want women in our Congress and House of Representatives and all that, but. I don't want wacky bitches like Lauren Boebert and Marjorie Taylor Greene. And I don't want these QAnon crazy bitches. You know, women, we all want to support each other. And I'm down to support women for, yeah. But nutty bitches like that? No. No. It's like, like I said, I'm all for women, but not like that. Because they're just stirring up trouble. But again, the only reason these fucking bitches got in, men, they think with their dick. They see a little brunette and a fucking blonde with fucking tits all pushed up with a big old fucking gun. And they're just like, tits and a gun. Yep, I'm voting for her. They can care less what the fuck her policies are or anything. They think with their dicks. They can't help it. Let's see. Laura got the, she loves the tart juicy lips. I know they're so good. I like the plumping one too. So good. And that's see, a great idea. So you get a pack of four. You pick which color. I mean, I got a little jar of them here. <laughs> but even Sephora has one. This one here. <coughs> that's what, I, should, I should always bring down two drinks when I have the smaller coffee. This is the Sephora Rouge uh, Melting Lip Click. In. Does it say the fucking shade on here? Where the hell's the shade name? Ah, uh, number four, cotton candy. Ooh, that in the blue. Hey, I opened the garage for you. Get your ass in there. What's this one here? That's just a lighter shade. And the thing with these lip, with these clicky ones, don't forget, don't click a lot up because it like melts when it hits your lips. But they do. They give nice shine. Quick to put in your bag. I like things like this. I'll throw it in the bag I can while I'm driving. I like lipsticks, to, like the soft matte lip creams, anything like that from NYX, the butter glosses. Anything that I can put on while I'm driving when I don't have to look in a fucking mirror works for me. <laughs> the eyeshadow behind me with the kitty. Oh, these ones. Sugar pill. This is her first one called Fun Size. These little beauties right here. These are pressed pigments too. And then they came out with Fun Size 2. You got little boba. And the shades are different. I do have a video on these. 
they're more on the pastel-y looking side, but they are different. You can see the shades are different. Yeah, anything, if you ever want any indie brands, if, I don't just in the search thing, if you hit Brenda Couture or Be Witch 17, or any of them, and then put like Sugar Pill, my video should pop right up. But yeah. Two little kitties. The Sugar Pill makes air. vegan, cruelty free. The owner, Shrinkle, my God, she comes out with the most kick ass looks. <laughs> And she'll put on like the big wig and oh my god she gets crazy beautiful girl though yes okay teresa was teresa bought the rectangular eyeshadow palette from the sephora wishing you collection oh marcia you did have a small family too yeah you lost your dad young Oh, exactly. Marsha, I agree 100%. Weak mean, weak minded people follow cult leaders. Exactly. Yeah, they are cute. <laughs> but uh, Sugar Pill makes great products. Crazy lipsticks. And she got, I, like I said, I have a shitload. Of, anything that's pretty much on this wall behind me, I have a video on. And if I don't, yell at me and I'll make one. <laughs> But if you like good indie brands, literally, um, well, we got Sugar Pill, made by Mitchell, uh, Sugar Drizzle, who's the other latest ones? Um, Gourmand Girls, that's everything I just kind of pulled down here. There's Sugar Drizzle and Gourmand. Oh, here's another one from that used to be Strobe, <laughs> is the Creepy Cute Palette. So strobe would be these, which is now Shroud Cosmetics. But beautiful little palette. Creepy cute. Ah, uh, Kaleidos, killer fucking highlighters. Even Jaclyn. The Jaclyn palettes. I might have one of the Morphe ones, I'm not sure. Yeah, I have the bigger one, the bigger Jaclyn and Morphe. But just her shadow itself, like the strawberry one and all that. Fabulous. And her highlighters. That girl can make a fucking highlighter. Okay, I'll, I'll just keep saying it. The bitch can make a highlighter. Sure. Let's watch them for you. Tracy wants me to swatch some of the juicy lips. Let me wipe my arm off. <laughs> I got like at least six of them. <laughs> like I said, I have an It Cosmetics one in there, the Sephora one. But they feel very nice on the lips too. And the plumping, it's not like, don't, it's not even close to like Too Faced Extreme or any of that. There's like no real tingle or anything. All right, tart. Tart, 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 tart. Tart. All right, we got seven of them. <laughs> All right, we have Forget Me Not, which is the Maracuja Lip Plump. So the ones that are shiny are the plumping ones. So we got three plumpers and four where it just says, I think they'll just say Maracuja Juicy. Juicy, juicy, juicy. Juicy. Okay, we'll do the three plumpy ones first. All right, so we got Forget Me Not. In here. It's a little clicky click. I'll try to put enough so hopefully you can see the shade. It's like anything, you can kind of build them up. But overall, it's going to be on the sheer side. So that was Forget Me Not. And the plumper. Then we have dragon fruit, which is one of my favorites because it's a good old mauve shade. I mean, they melt like butter right on you. That one has some good pigment to it. And then lotus. More on the pink side.
Okay. Get a little deeper pink. The first one's a little on the sheer side, which is fine. These feel nice on. All right, now we're just going to go into the juicy lip ones. Uh, we have watermelon. That one's sheer too, but this feels nice on the lips. <laughs> That one's right there. And the names are on the end, just so you know. Uh, strawberry, so it's a little deeper. Right there. Hibiscus. It's another kind of mauve one. Doing a couple of swipes just to get them across. So there's that one. <clears throat> that was okay. I think it says rose. <laughs> Another very light pink. And there you go. So there's the thumpy ones up top, and then the other ones. And you can see they all have that shine factor. I must have like 20 layers of fucking lip balm on by now. But winter's coming. <laughs> Gotta have those lips. <laughs> and again, my little yogurt jar. Which has just a bunch of lip liners in it, too. But don't forget, you can put a lip liner on first and then put that over the top. And then It Cosmetics has the Pillow Lips Solid Serum. Uh, this says Like a Dream. So this one's a little deeper. That's got a hell of a click to it. Gotta put some muscle into that clicking. I forgot how much I like this shade. Fuck. Okay. <laughs> And you can see the light bouncing off them. Jesus Christ. I don't think I have any other ones sitting here. Wait a I showed you the Sephora one. Let me put that back on it. What else do we got? They look in the Kool-Aid. <laughs> Swatch the tart lip pies too. With these. Those are the lippy. <laughs> I agree, Laura. They're definitely nourishing and keep the lips moisturized. She goes through them faster than any other lip product. Oh, you're welcome. Tracy was looking at similar Sephora ones. She says, I and these versus the makeup by Mario. Similar. Yeah. They're all going to be, again, just similar. <laughs> Because I think that's why I probably bought like a Sephora one. But well, well, what the hell let me try theirs and throw that in? You know, but again, of why pay say $20 for one when you could get two Sephoras for $20? You know, it's on which, you know, again, we're paying for the name. They're not the same as lipstick. No. I mean, it has a little bit of tint to it, as you can see. But it's just a gloss. Like anything, it depends what you're doing. Smoking, drinking. Now, normally during the day... <clears throat> besides in the morning before I put makeup on yeah, I'm drinking out of a cup but I take an iced coffee to work with me that's you know, like one of those big tumblers with a straw so the iced coffee I'm drinking through a straw so my lipstick would last longer but even though I have a mask on too <laughs> but you know if you're making out or blowing somebody or whatever you know obviously your lipstick's not going to fucking last <laughs> Exactly, you can use the sheer ones as just like at night, as like a lip mask. Because it's just giving you that moisture that you need. Because I have all the lip masks upstairs, like I said, I'm still trying to blow through half of those. I mean, it's a, I've got two lips, it's not like I'm putting on some thick, crazy layer. You know, that would just be weird. Yes, the formula is definitely soft. That's why in anything in a click pen, if you 
went clicking and say you clicked up like a quarter inch of product or more, it's just going to smush right under your lips because almost as soon as it hits the heat, it, it like melts under your lips. But that, they definitely have the tint. Yeah. And you can see these are pretty tinted. It's not bad. Oh my God. I love the YSLs. Yeah, that one. <laughs> I got a bunch of these. But these are also, what, 40 something dollars, if not more. Uh, this is number shade 90. I think I have a couple of these in my bag, too. You know I me, mean? I love a good. And this is one of the bombs, because you can see it's sheer. But yeah, these. And they don't have no weird smell either. But it's fun pulling out the fancy little YSL. And don't forget anything that's like cheek tint, all that. You could basically use this, all this on your lips too. Like here's the tart, tart flush, where it says cheek stain. Any of these cheek stains, just use your finger and put it on your lips, and now you can have it on your. I even got the Ulta one recently. Too cheeky, lips and cheeks. It's just a light pink. So again, do your blush and then or use a lip brush, whatever you want. Put it directly on from here. Your makeup, you do you. <laughs> and Lorena Bobbitt. <laughs> they threatened Greg with that years ago. Like, dude, yeah, I, I know the man. I'm least of my worries. I would never have to worry about Greg cheating on me. But I'm like, uh, you ever go there? You ever heard of Lorena Bobbitt? He was like, yeah, I go. You won't get it back. <laughs> and granted, that bitch drove around and threw it out the window. Oh, no, I'd make sure it's gone. Yes, Dior has a nice lip balm called Glow Balm. Oh, I don't have one of those. Hold my beer. Wait a minute. That might be upstairs. And like these little Clinique little sets are awesome too. Whether you get the little mini lipstick sets or the glosses, they're always a fucking really good value. I don't think I, I don't have the glow one. I bought this one when it came out. <clears throat> uh, this is the lip tattoo one that I think they were claiming like, oh, it's mask proof. No, it's not. <laughs> Most of them aren't mask proof. Oh, good night, Miss Teresa. You have a fabulous weekend. A little self-care love tomorrow. Like I said, maybe I'll come on tomorrow. Afternoon-ish. Three, four, who knows. And maybe I'll fuck around and sew those on. And stick these things all over my face. So I'd much rather try to, I don't know how these are going to stick. <laughs> and considering it's going to be, what, 11, 12 o'clock. I don't want to be trying to get this shit off my face at midnight. <laughs> She's having quiet time. Hold the Corona. <laughs> exactly. Many men have lost their ways and are scared of women. They should be. A woman's wrath. Exactly. For years, the shit they've tried to pull. And with that row thing was just like, really? You fuckers have no idea the floodgates you just fucking opened. Because especially, what was it recently, Iowa? And they normally a red state, and all the women in Iowa were like, fuck you. You are not going to tell us what to do with our bodies. People went, yeah, Iowa, right the fuck on. <laughs> Thank you, Adriana. Thanks my makeup collection. Hi, Christina. You girls jumped in late. We're actually going to be quitting it here in a minute. <laughs> How much I got left here? Uh, let's see what happens. The phone only gives me about three hours. Why isn't it not there? Uh, we got a few minutes. <laughs> it's right at about 20%. It'll start kicking my ass at, 
I think 15 or 10, it all of a sudden cuts me off. Sometimes by the time I'm trying to run up the stairs with it, it's either completely dead or one time I was at, I plugged it in, it was at 2%. Yeah, I'm going to wipe these off though, just so I'm not covered in lip gloss. But that little swatch has been hanging out from that eyeliner from Amazon. Did I get an Amazon order today? No, I think it's shipped. Oh, we're not going to bed yet. Like I said, we got a few minutes to still chat. <clears throat> we got a few. Yeah, so I got this for So hopefully that's for order. We'll show up on Tuesday. Yeah, I hate when I don't even know what the fuck I order anymore. Just got so much shit. That's why I try to... I got the... Oh, we got two seconds. I'll show you the Macy's shit, too. Oh, my God. My back is killing me. Woo! Macy's comes in a box, and as soon as you open the box, the whole box collapses. Uh, what do we get here? Oh, these I definitely wanted to try. This is the one I'm actually looking at <laughs> right now. Uh, Valentino Oma. Born in Roma Coral Fantasy. I really dig this bottle. So I think this is the men's, though. Which is weird, because there's like, the the black and the peach, I think, is the men's. And then there's Born in Roma Coral Fantasy, which I would think this would be the women's. A fruity, floral fragrance built around a bouquet of jasmine and a fresh kiwi accord. So that's the women's. Okay, then the men's is an ambery fragrance created around a tobacco accord twisted by a crunchy red apple accord. See, I've been definitely looking at these little sets. Uh, what'd they give you? That Mina, the color pen eyeliner. Of course, it's blue, but it's liquid. But it is a good looking blue shade. <laughs> this brand, I've tried a couple products and they were kind of... Mm. Uh, Bare Minerals, Mineralist, and Spirited. The red they always give to my girlfriend. Uh, Mineral Fusion Nail Polish. It's full size. This will go to mom. Because I would never wear a color that light. I do love me some nude sticks. Uh, the Nudies Matte Lux in Rosy Posy. These are always nice. I should have got the Glamzilla set. What a fucking moron I am. And then they gave you a little pouch here with a little mirror. Is that, oh, actually, uh, the Mac. Uh, what the fuck is this called? Magic Extension Mascara. This I won't even try. I don't like anything with the fibers in it. I find they always fall off, fall in my eye. Flake, so I will give this to my girlfriend Sarah because I know she loves mascaras too. But me, I'm gonna I could definitely look at this Valentino. Uh. <clears throat> Plus I like the bottles. This is a cute little bottle where it's all like spiky looking. <laughs> Yeah, definitely feel free to check out, like, the dossier and all that. God damn. I mean, I'd much rather pay, say, $29 for a bottle or $39 or even $49 compared to $200 and something. Especially if it smells, you know, just like it is. Oh, I think Jeannie was saying good night. Oh, good night, Jeannie, if I missed you. <laughs> oh, Christina York, we're going to be out here in a minute. It usually starts at 8 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. I'm on the East Coast. I'm in Connecticut. I love me some Macy's. Wow, they did. Wow, she used to work at Macy's. Her first day working was Black Friday. They threw you to the wolves. Yeah. Oh, I don't really have a favorite perfume. I like a lot of them. One of my favorites is definitely Angel. 
we always laugh because I love Angel and my girlfriend Gina loves Alien. <laughs> so it's like funny that we both like from the same designer, two different fragrances. Alien, I have most of those where it's a star bottle. I have most of those. Um, oh, the good girl too. The Carolina Herrera. And this is good. I just Greg's, but it's good boy. But it's kick ass looking, you know, it looks like a big old <laughs> thunderbolt. But they have a lot of sets of these too. Nothing like a good old fuck me pump. So of course I you know gotta, gotta have more of those. Um anything with like the juicy couture line I love. Even Ariana Grande. I like all her little fragrances. I'm even thinking of getting because I got the Billie Eilish right here. And I think the little girl from Connecticut that was the TikTok star. Charlie, the fuck is her name? Demilio, something like that. She I know she's from Connecticut. She put out a fragrance. And it's what I find with like Ariana, all these little like younger pop stars. I actually like the scents. They're usually like more on the fruity side and girly, which is fine. You know, but I, I think I have like all the Adriana ones because I have more perfumes over here, plus upstairs. My fucking shit's everywhere. You never know where you're going to spray it on you. <laughs> oh, you're welcome, Laura. Ah, see, so you're in California, girl. I know the heel, the fucking heels are the best from Carolina. The cloud one's real good, too. That's, uh, yeah. And then the, this also now comes where the cloud is dark blue. And I think it's called Cloud Extreme, if I'm right. Yeah, these are she, they're cute little bottles, but even the fragrances are nice. But to me, they're they're girlyish, you know. Which is, I love Michael Bublé. I yeah, yeah. I like perfume. Vera Wang, I love all hers with the heart shaped bottles. Even perfume's a thing where I'll buy it because I like the bottle, which is bad. <laughs> But I, I literally have a box somewhere where there's a shit ton of them. Because one day I figured, oh, I'm just going to put a big rack along the top of the bedroom. And then put lights in like I have here. Whether it was up or down, however, which way. And have like all the empty perfume bottles displayed around like, you know, the instead of a border of some fucking wallpaper. I have to be unique and have like all perfume bottles. But I'm thinking... It's pain in the ass trying to feather dust those. <laughs> and I hate dusting with my fucking allergies. <laughs> I don't, uh, baby doll. I don't remember that one. Yeah, I love the mini sets of the heels. They're so cute. And everybody has those sets too. Definitely Ulta, Sephora, Macy's. Don't forget Nordstrom's. And also that Selfridges. I love shopping there, too. The one that's, like, from England. But it's wild. Some of their shit's actually cheaper than here. Like, I'll find Charlotte Tilbury's a little cheaper on there. Sometimes Mac's cheaper on there, because they did buy that new Mac highlighter with the bows. It's still upstairs. Um, what else is decent on there? They actually have some really kick-ass advent calendars. There's, I have two of them in the cart. <laughs> One of them, I, I'm probably going to buy these just to buy these because they're crazy. One's a tea set, so I figured oh, I'll give that to mom. But one of them, I love pork skin, chicharrones. There goes the fucking phone. <clears throat> they have some advent calendar <laughs> where it's like, must be all these different flavors of pigskin. Because God forbid a restaurant has them. I'm like, first thing on the menu, I go, oh, you got chicharrones or, you know, fried pork skins. I love it with that little blast of lime on it. Oh, my God, it's so good. Like I said, I don't eat, you know, totally bad. I don't eat totally good either. Why? Okay, it was by YSL. I definitely have Libra. I have most of these big mal or the fuck these are called. I don't even know what half of these are called. Mom Petty. <laughs> I 
Another great place to find fragrance at a fucking discount is TJ Maxx and Marshalls. Because these ones here are <clears throat> those Olsen twins. Elizabeth James. I grabbed these fuckers. I swear they were, what, not even barely $20. This shit was expensive, too. You know, so it's always worth taking a look. And don't forget, you can shop TJ Maxx and Marshalls online. <laughs> That's where I buy all the Christian Louboutin shit. Because you think I'm paying, like, I mean, these fucking nail polishes. These are actually what I want. I, I, this is the packaging that kills me. Because, well, it would kill somebody. <laughs> but I think these retail for probably $50 for nail polish. And I think on TJ Maxx or something, I paid, like, 20 I was still gagging that I was going to pay $20 for a nail polish. But I'm like, yeah, I like this. And their lipsticks are outstanding. I, but this shit I had to buy online. I, They're not going to have this in store. And if they did, they're fucking hiding it. <laughs> but other than that, yeah, do you think I'm going to pay the 100 bucks for like a Louboutin lipstick? No, but I paid like 60 which is bad enough. <laughs> but they're gorgeous. <laughs> it even has like the red cap of... I still want the shoes. I took off the little... They need a little on it. But it was funny, a couple times when people were like, I didn't even know you could shop online at TJ Maxx and Marshalls. It's like, mm-hmm. And you can use your um, reward points and all that on there, too. I thought that eyeliner was hanging on there for a second, but nope. <laughs> <clears throat> all right, this phone is definitely going to die. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. We're going to have to. Oh, black opium. Excellent perfume. I have many of that over there. Oh, you're welcome, Christina. Yeah, definitely check out. It's worth checking out. Or even check Dossier to see if they have it. You can just punch in, like, the name of whatever you're looking for, and you'll see if they have it or not. Damn, Marsha. I never even heard of that. The Delcon Shield. Fucking eight hundred dollars for a lawsuit. That sucks. Unbelievable. Again, because we're women, they're just gonna treat us, you know, bad. Good night, Laura. Good night, Pyramid. Good night, Tracy, Teresa, Marcia. Oh, it's my missing. I don't want to miss any of my ladies. Miss Caitlin, if you're still here. Miss Christina, Pyramid, Malu. Who am I missing? Who am I missing? Miss Laura. I think I got most of you ladies. I'm not sure. If I missed any of you, know I love you. <laughs> Terry. Tracy. Everyone sleep well. A little self-love tomorrow on you. Figure the afternoon-ish sometime. We'll play fuck around and I'll put some fucking horns on and be the bitch that I'm meant to be. <laughs> I wish I had dreams because I drug myself so good. I don't even dream anymore that I know of. <laughs> At least I'm not remembering them. <laughs> Miss Patty. I almost forgot Miss Patty. Patty, we're going to spin the wheel. I saw that wheel. It's Patty. And I was just like, God damn, I want that wheel. What is she going to do with that wheel? <laughs> that looks like fun. Let's spin it and see what happens. <laughs> Patty's got like Wheel of Fortune going on on her channel. Make sure you follow Granny and Patty. <laughs> we all follow each other and watch each other's videos. We always have a good night. I know, I'm going to have to check on Rosie. Make sure she's okay. Miss Alshira. Miss Alshira's Rosie. Yeah, it is odd she didn't pop in. But sometimes she gets called into work, too. So, never know. You never know. But love y'all. And hopefully, yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. We'll fuck around. We'll play. Slap some shit on this face. <laughs> Since, again, two weeks in a row, like, no makeup but lip products. But, hey, makes my night easy. I'll wash off the old uh, sunscreen and all that. And good to go. All right. Love y'all. Be safe and I'll see you tomorrow. Love you. Bye.